Hey, I'm a sub, it's your boy, your mama, a.k.a. Hi, it is I, a.k.a. All the lights, a.k.a. Keep your mouth quiet. Little mama, a.k.a. Keep your mouth quiet. Big mama, gang, gang, you already know what time it is. The world's greatest goddamn streamer, and it ain't even close. Black at it again with another goddamn classic. Get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be a good one today. Hey, let me tell y'all. <clears throat> so, if y'all been living under a rock, and y'all just got here, and y'all just got with the shits, y'all would know that my girl, Beauty Beauty, is now Muslim. Yes, that's right. <laughs> She's Muslim now, you know? She got a Muslim man. She went to Kuwait. She got married, you know? They, they, they did the Muslim ceremony, and it was, it was just a beautiful thing. Now, this is a... Uh, I just want to uh, alert everybody in the chat that you guys might get tearful here. You know, this journey that Beauty Beauty has taken to get to this point, you know, it's, it's very emotional. I mean, I cried twice. <laughs> I did. But uh, here we go. Let's roll it. Uh, here we go. This is Beauty Beauty uh, ceremony, marriage. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It really happened. Well, not marriage, but uh, conversion into being Muslim. Let's go. Welcome to my life journey, and thanks for watching. So in April of 2022, I decided to go on a trip to Cuba to get away from everything and to do some vlogging. Now, I was in the middle of a very abusive relationship, and I thought I was losing my mind. Matter. And uh -huh. I woke up yeah. one day and just felt an immense amount of peace, and I didn't know why. I felt at that moment like I started finding my way to Allah. But as a Christian, the audio's not sinking. Hold on, let me fix that. Somebody said the audio is not sinking. Hold on. <clears throat> let me, let me, let me, let me fix that. Da -da 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 -da. I was in a moment. Having a moment. I didn't feel connected fully somehow, but I couldn't quite place my feelings. Months later, after nearly giving up on love, God sent me Salah, my beautiful husband, and I went to Kuwait to marry him. The music. I think Salah the music is a, is a I think Muslim the music man. is a part that gets you <laughs> I think the Mus I think the music is just will get you in tears. I mean here it goes. Love, go, go. God sent me Salah, my beautiful husband, and I went to Kuwait to marry him. Salah is a Muslim man. <laughs> That's all you gotta say about him. <laughs> yeah, I went to Kuwait. I got married. Salah. He's a Muslim man. <laughs> he's a handyman. <laughs> he's a good man. <laughs> if you if you needed your toilet, if your toilet was clogged up, he'd he 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 get it out, hey man. He's a he's a family man. <laughs> He's also a fuck a lot man. <laughs> fuck his wife, man. <laughs> he also just built a house kind of man. <laughs> what kind of man is he? <laughs> he's a he's a Muslim man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought she was gonna go into more detail. <laughs> you know? He's a big dick man. <laughs> he's a dick me down man. <laughs> he's a lick the fupa from the back. Kind of man. <laughs> Can I get an A man? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm Muslim now. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean A man. Can I get a Allah? Uh, <laughs> he just said, "Yeah, he's a Muslim man." <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Could have went into more details there, you know. Shortly after being in the Middle East, I became a hijabi, and I can't. What'd she say? <laughs> she said she became a ja Jabberwocky? What? <laughs> a hundred, is that what it is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she could be one. 
I can see her being a Jabberwocky. <laughs> she be hitting the break dances and shit. They they could do all the moves and shit. They call her out and she come out. And she here 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 here. Okay, <laughs> we're in the hijab. Okay, hijabi. <laughs> I thought she I thought she said ja I thought she said Jabberwocky. I was like hell yeah. <laughs> I see that in Vegas. <laughs> I'll fucking watch that show straight up. After being in the Middle East, I became a hijabi, and I can't yeah. explain the level hijabi. of peace okay. I now felt, and love, and just total acceptance in every way, support from yeah. my husband, and from God. Mm -hmm. And for this, I owe Allah my life. I decided the life of servitude to Allah is what brings me the most peace and I have failed okay. many times to be a quote unquote good Muslim as I've allowed emotions and drama to get the best of me at times yeah you did kind of go out a few people <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what I'm saying is on your journey to becoming a good Muslim or your journey to becoming a Catholic or a Christian do you have to give up the rage? I'm just saying, I don't think you should. I, I think, you know, if you got if you got rage inside and you want to get it off or you want to get it out on somebody, I think I think God and Jesus would be down with that shit. You know what I mean? Like if I if I ever, you know, I'm I mean, I'm I'm Christian, you know, but if I ever what if I was atheist and I wanted to convert to Christianity, Chris, being a Catholic or Christian and um you know, I had issues with people I think Jesus would be down with it. I think Jesus would be like, cool, you want to you wanna get it off? Go ahead, get it off on somebody. And be like, fuck you, motherfucker. Before I become, you know, Catholic and Christian and, and, and baptized, I'm going to say, fuck all of y'all. I don't know. I think you should be able to do that. You know what I mean? She got her shit off. Yeah. Before she became a uh, Muslim, she got, she got everything she wanted to say off her chest. And I still struggle with many I'm demons saying. in my life. However, I will never give up trying. Alu Akbar. Thank you for watching my story. Hello, Akbar. La ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Wa abra'u. Wa abra'u. Min kulli din. Min kulli. Oh, so they don't just throw you in a tub like us? <laughs> they don't just throw you in water and say you're you're now safe. Okay. They scream. They just they scream at you. Uh, Din al Islam. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Okay, y'all can't say now. I saw a lot of reactors say she's not Muslim. Now, and this is all fake. I don't think you could pay actresses in Kuwait to uh, say that you're, you know, do the whole uh, ritual. I think now she's Muslim now. Now she's official. You know what I mean? Now she's official, like a referee with a whistle. Okay? Because I don't think you could pay people to uh, fake that. You know what I mean? Especially with their... Come to Islam. You are officially Muslim now. Mabrook, <laughs> baby. Mabrook. Alhamdulillah. Mabrook. Shukran. A nice new Quran. And it has English translation. God damn, that's a Quran? What? It, what? <laughs> God damn, that look like a Harry Potter book. I don't know. <laughs> I, I look beautiful. <laughs> Why the Bible don't look like that? <laughs> we don't got gold trims. <laughs> Have you seen a Bible lately? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice looking book. <laughs> God damn, man. What's going on? <laughs> Shit, that looks, be that looks beautiful. Man, look like something I want to read. <laughs> Look like a Lord of the Rings book. <laughs> Hogwarts, I don't know. <laughs> a Harry Potter book. <laughs> look like Master P made that. <laughs> look like the look like the old school Master P covers. She looks beautiful. Translation and how to pronounce everything in English. So this will be a really good read as I learn more about my new faith. MashaAllah. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mabrook, Alf, Mabrook, Here we go. Okay. 
I want to stop right here. Now, a lot of people criticize the hug, all right? The embrace in this community. A lot of people... Now, a lot of people criticize the embrace. Mm -mm. And I want to show some of the people that did that. <clears throat> because I think, <clears throat> I'm going to explain my side of things. I'm going to explain how I felt about the embrace. But I want to show you Let me go to this channel A lot of people had a lot of shit to say Shit, let me pull this up <clears throat> Okay, here it is. <clears throat> now I want to play something because a lot of a lot of creators was doing this. Now I'm gonna go to Skinny Queen, and she was doing she was arguing about how Muslims. I I had my quote, and I want to see if I'm right or wrong. Now she said, I said that most Muslims, especially on 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 camera, they don't. They don't embrace each other, right? Like like we do. You know what I mean? They're not all kissy, huggy, huggy, all like that. Because when that embrace happened, and I'm gonna show it again, when this embrace happened with Beauty Beauty coming in for the hug and him kissing on her forehead, they said, This, 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 this doesn't show chemistry. They don't have no chemistry. And I said, because of their religion, you know, their religion, you know, it might. You know, they, they might they not might not be like that on camera. You know what I mean? They might not be like that on camera. They might not be one in a be all kissy kissy, you know? But I bet you when that robe come off and them rolls drop, I bet you my man Salah gets hard. <laughs> he gets excited <laughs> and he can't fight it. All right? That's my belief. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fucking it'd be like <laughs> them rolls hit, you know? All that, all that, uh, all that hijab, that shit come off, you know, he gets excited. <laughs> he be rolling, be rolling, rolling down the river, be Tina Turner in that motherfucker. <laughs> we be rolling, rolling, <laughs> rolling down the river. <laughs> I don't know, because let me tell you something, maybe. Maybe privately on cam, maybe in cam on camera, publicly they don't show affection. They don't have no hugging and kissing. He grabbing butt and all that stuff like that, cause he's showing respect. But I bet you when them cameras go off in his private time, he ripped that shit off. <laughs> That's why she has to buy so many of them. You always see her at the flea mart getting a new hijab. Why? Because my man Salah is ripping that shit open. <laughs> yeah, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh sarah jane uh she hit us up and she said well let me show you yo mama that you're wrong that in the muslim culture on camera there's a lot of muslims that be hugging and kissing and doing all the things now i want to sh show y'all this is the video she played now this is the video she showed and she played on my um Right here. This is her playing videos of Muslims. Showing affection. Now I want y'all, I'm gonna I'm show y'all. Now I wanna now I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the difference between Feudy Beauty and these people. 
Let's roll it. Uh, you're not grasping what I'm saying. When a man <laughs> likes that woman, <laughs> they touch <laughs> the fat. Okay. So when so y'all telling me when a man like a fat woman, they touch the fat. Okay, roll it. And right, you guys, here's a Muslim he couple doesn't. right here. Here is a Muslim like, give me right some here. love it. Yeah. <gasps> he put her shoulder. She put his arm around. Oh. See, that's no. a couple who like each other. <laughs> they love each other. See, what's the difference? Ladies and gentlemen, what's the difference right here? That's a skinny ass woman right there. That's disgusting. <laughs> All right. That's that's a she ain't big, first and foremost. Beauty, beauty, and Salah cannot get in a shot like that, all right? Because th there's not enough room. <laughs> there's not enough room, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Beauty, beauty, that camera needs to be backed up. You know what I mean? Just, just a lot. You need, that shit need to be outside. That shit too close. Now, what skinny queen is showing me is a bunch of skinny women, Muslim women. What about the big Muslim women? I think there's a difference. I think there's a difference. Go. You can go. tell they love each like, other. They have it's chemistry. It's your mama. Chemistry, your when, mama. When, when, you know, not, you and your when wife hold each her, other when different. He does right? her. Wait, wait, she, Veronica. Another skinny woman. Your well, why, he well, why does he, why does he not show, um, show her any woman. chemistry, any this. affection when her Look clothes are on either? Because. Man, when you like someone, you just know. You just can all see. Yeah. You can women. tell when people like each other. I mean, we all, a... everybody in the chat, like, come on, everybody can tell. This is not like rocket science. I'm being, I'm being honest. Like, when you, when you like some, when you love somebody, even if let's just say conservative, whatever. He, he's not conservative. Come on, he's a gamer. He's all what I'm sure they curse, they this, they that, you know. But I, what yeah. I mean is like. He could still be like hugging her, bringing her in, you know. Just come on, I, you could hugging just tell. Come on that. now. Hey, Lavender, how are you? Hey, Choo Choo. And, and plus, he if like she said, he's seen all her um stuff. If I look, even, they're like, hugging. Look at this couple. They're even hugging there. Look at. Oh, is that somebody else? Oh no, is it? You, no, it's the same couple. Look, like I said, just, there's their just marriage. Wait. Just fast forward. If you fast forward it to the future now, you're going to see Chantel sitting in Canada doing some wheelchairs, talking crap about him, how he did this, how he, you know, he scammed her, so. blah, blah, blah. If you're just coming in, so. we're playing a Muslim couple that actually loves each other and they're showing affection because. What's the one who wears the niqab? What? I forget the name. Uh, of uh, Medina. Medina um, um, oh. I forgot their name. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. But uh, so supposedly she said that she put her WhatsApp on Tinder. Look at all these skinny he... ass. Look at all these skinny ass uh, Muslim women. He she didn't show me one video of a big Muslim woman. Like they said, they be doing all that touching and all that stuff like that. I ain't seen it. You see me? You showing me a bunch of skinny? Muslim women from I don't know what country they from. They probably not even from Kuwait. They from from the U.S. somewhere. Culture. There's different Muslim uh, uh, sets, right? Just like gangs. Not all gangs the same. You know, some Crips do things differently than the Bloods. Same thing with the Muslim co culture. Some Muslims are touchy feely, and some aren't. He messaged her on WhatsApp. And I, you know, I don't believe that story still, like, the origin story is still sus as fuck. So, yeah. <laughs> Jen even says, Jen, she and you can see 500 women the girl. and a really good looking uh, husband. Those two. They, nobody would ever say, oh, look at these. Wearing it repeatedly. Muslims. I wear the shit out of my stuff. Yeah. But you have to be, you know, concerned. 12 years ago when I could start okay now we know it's fake I just wanted to get to that part right there to show you how fake this situation is ladies and gentlemen I want to get back hold on let me rewind this back <clears throat> because skinny girl was trying to tell me she trying to tell me that this is one and the same 
that Salah and Fruity Beauty's relationship on camera should be like the ones that we seeing on this video. But what are we seeing in this video that's that can't never happen? I'm a, I'm gonna play that again because y'all didn't see it. In the into a B three thirty, and it was mail order twelve years ago when I could start walking. That woman just jumped in that man's hands. Now, let me tell y'all something. Could y'all imagine Feudy Beauty jumping <laughs> in Salah's arms? Skinny, now let me tell you something, Skinny Queen. If, if, you ever, if there's ever a day that a 700-pound woman jumps backwards into Salah's arms, that man's going to die. <laughs> All right? So we don't miss me with all the bullshit. This is not an accurate. This is not an accurate thing that you guys want to put on Feudy Beauty, saying these women did it this way. Of course they did. They're different because we ain't seeing Feudy Beauty jump backwards into Salah's arms. Hell no. <laughs> he be dead. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to play this. Because I wanted to show that the videos that she's showing me on TikTok, the videos that she's showing me on Instagram about these Muslim women and, I mean, these Muslim couples and how they act and they're showing chemistry. And that's why Feudy Beauty and Salah aren't, aren't real. Because they're, you don't see the chemistry that these people are showing on camera from them. There's a difference. Look at these women. They're jumping backwards in man's arms. The guy could put his whole arms around her. Could Salah do that with Feudy? No. <laughs> Hell no. That's why the situation's different. Just wanted to point that out, skinny queen. Now, this is some warm embracing. Now he, he's putting his... He's putting his two hands around her. They're embracing each other. Today, Chantel, my pretty one. And yeah, he patted her on the back. Today, Chantel, my pretty wife, I become officially a Muslim. Now, I'm going to tell y'all. <clears throat> There's a difference in relationships. All you reactors out there <clears throat> that wanted to criticize this embrace, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. It's time to keep it real. Big women are different than skinny women. See, that's what y'all used to. <clears throat> the world watches too much TV. That's what y'all used to. Y'all used to watching men and women on do vlogs and the kissing and hugging and stuff like that. But there's a difference. <clears throat> and this is from the man's perspective. All right. When a man's dating a big woman, cause I used to date big women. All right. I love my big women. Let me tell y'all something out there in the streets. That's all the way in the back row. Let me tell y'all something. When I had my big woman and I was with her, I was with her, but I didn't have to show affection when I was with her. I was doing just what Salah was doing, you know? Because big women don't need that verification like skinny women. I'm going to keep it a buck. Because skinny women, they need you to hug them. They need you to hold them, hold their hands. They, you go to the movies with them. You got to walk behind them like weirdos, you know? Like, where are you going? You going left? You going right? You going left? You going right? But a big woman don't need that, though. A big woman don't need that verification. When I had my big woman, I was dating my big woman. It was beautiful. People didn't even know we was together most of the time. We would walk aside. We would walk along aside each other, you know. I wouldn't even hug her. I'd give her a pound. Like, yeah, what's up, babe? What's up? What's up, babe? I would pick my friends up in the... I would pick my friends up at their house. My girl would be sitting in the back seat. He get in a, he get in a passenger. He say, "Hey, bro, you you don't want your girl sit up front with you?" Be like, "No, why? She comfortable in the back." And they was even confused. 
That was like, if y'all, are y'all even together? I said, hell yeah, we together. Cause he don't need that verification. When I got with me, when I got with these skinny ass women, all they want to do is hug and kiss in public, hold hands, lick the side of their face. They want all that shit. A big woman, you don't need to do all of that. As long as you hit that McDonald's after the date, we good. And that was the best part about it, ladies and gentlemen. When you were a big woman. When you were a big woman. When you were a big woman. It ain't about public affection. It ain't about that. Fuck all that. It's about that private affection, nigga. Because when them rolls drop. Woo! Woo! Ric Flair. Because when them rolls drop. Ah! You're picking them all up. Ah! That's what it's about. So all you reactors out there that's talking about the chemistry, he, he barely hug her, he barely, fuck all that. Because it, fuck all that public affection bullshit. When you with a big girl, it's about private affection. It's about getting in them draws, the them big ass draws. I ain't know nothing about that. The only reason why niggas show affection when you see them at the movie theater, you see them at the mall, is because they got a woman that need all of that, you know? So they just doing it for the, they doing it for the camera. I know it's for a fact. Because when I went on my double date with my big, sexy, lovely, she was about 350, 5'7". Five, five, when I went on my double date and my friend, I, I went out with my friend and shit, you know, and he was with his beautiful, skinny, lovely, voluptuous woman. It was a difference. I showed up to the date comfortable, you know. Had on like a had on like a a, a, a white tee with a with a jersey on, some sweatpants, some chucks. I was comfortable. She was comfortable too. She had on a sweater. But what was he what was he wearing on this date? What was my friend dressed up at? He had to wear a suit, hair all done and shit, nice Gucci glasses, Gu I mean Gucci shades, nice watch, dressed all clean, smelt all good. His girl with a little dress on and shit. We go on this goddamn date. I can see he's uncomfortable. I said, damn, nigga, you we we cool. Me and her, we sitting, we sitting at the same table. You know, I'm leaning back like this, you know. She lean back like this. My friend, he with his girl. They all on top of each other hugging him. Yeah, baby, I love you. I know, I know, baby. I know it's going, it's going. Yeah. Me and my girl looking at them two morons like, damn, motherfuckers. I know that pussy whack. Because <laughs> I don't need to do all of that. And I knew it was a problem. Let me tell y'all when I know it's a problem. When they started ordering, uh, she she went first. His date went first. Um, yes. Uh, let me get the um uh let me get that uh Caesar the Caesar salad. Yes, I'm gonna get that. Oh, that looks good. Um, you know, do, um, can you put extra like little mini um goddamn um bacon bits on top of it? Yeah, 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 yeah ma'am. Ah, uh, then he went next. Yeah, uh, you getting the Caesar, baby? Okay, let me get the cob. Yes, um, the chick, just a little bit of chicken. Yeah, since we're gonna, we're gonna be, sh we're gonna be sharing salads. What are you guys, fucking rabbits? <laughs> Disgusting! You think me and my girl was on that shit? Fuck no! I said, bitch, let me get the baby back ribs, <laughs> extra goddamn barbecue sauce, and I knew he was uncomfortable. Because I looked at his face. He was licking his fucking lips. That show sound good. I wish I could get that. You can't get it. Because you ain't got a girl like me. And, her, and then my girl, she was like, fuck it. Give me the whole right side. <laughs> yeah, the sampler too, motherfucker. And don't, and don't hold back on a potato. <laughs> said, God damn, babe. I love you. <laughs> it was beautiful. But they was all oh, eating eggs. Disgusting ass salad in front of nasty, and I know he wanted what I had. I had barbecue sauce all on my fucking face. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and 
every two minutes, he was wiping his face. And all he had was a fucking salad. <laughs> oh, yeah, babe. Let me get that. Let me. Uh -huh. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say here, for you people in the back row, is there some women that need that public affection? They need that hug and kissing and loving and, and all public and all that shit like that. They need that. But there's a lot of women out there, especially the big ones, they like that private affection. Fuck all of that doing that shit in public. Psh, most of my friends didn't even know I was with these girls. And I was fine with that. Because when it got, came to bedroom time, it was the best shit ever. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. You can't be the big woman, motherfucker. You can't do it. She let you do everything. I was doing acrobats and everything. I was doing backflips. <laughs> I was on a bed doing backflips and, and dove right into the pussy. <laughs> Woo wee! It was like a, it was like going to Six Flags. <laughs> when you with a skinny woman, it ain't like that. <laughs> you had rules and shit. Oh, no, no. No, you can't. Oh my God, that's all, that's too much. I don't do all of that. Big woman ever, no, big woman. Huh? What? What you want to do? Let's do it. <laughs> do it then. Oh, thank you for the $5 uh, don't know. Your video and audio aren't syncing. Okay. I'm trying to, trying to work on that. Yeah, I'm going to try to, I think my shit is, I think my shit is, I think my shit is lagging. Let's fix that lag. Thank you for the heads up. Thank you for the $5, Brittany. Hold on. All right, mm. all right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still gonna, it's still gonna do it. I got it. It, it wants me to reset the whole goddamn. Hold on, let me do it like. This. Oh, let me fix this. Let me fix. This. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna bring right back. Hold on.
All right. Yeah, nothing a quick reset couldn't do. How we doing now? How we sounding now? How we sounding now? All right, thank you, Brittany, for that. Had to do a quick reset. We good now? Yeah, we should be good. It says show my thing. We good now? All right, cool. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if you guys heard, but in LA, we had a, um, we had an earthquake. So, uh, we, it was a, it was a 4.7. So, uh, a lot of my equipment got, got knocked down. So I forgot to reset all my shit and put all my shit down, but you know, <clears throat> uh, we get, we get earthquakes out here. It's not a big, it's not a big thing, but you know, I just didn't have my shit like in a secure spot. It's been a long time since we had one. So. So yeah, I didn't reset all my shit, but mm. I don't know if there are they even earthquakes in I don't, I don't know. I don't know about Canada. I don't know if there's earthquakes in Canada. But I'm telling you right now, when when Beauty, Beauty and Salah, when they get that shit in, <laughs> she said, LA going underwater. But when uh Feudy, Beauty and Salah get they shit in, I'll tell you something right now. <laughs> There's some earthquakes. <laughs> Canada better be preparing for some earthquakes because <laughs> it's about to go down. <laughs> but like I was saying, public affection. Not a lot of people show public affection. Okay? Just don't do it. It's, a lot of the times, men don't like to show public affection. They don't like to be, they feel uncomfortable, you know? But it's the women that you date, you know, you got to, the first time I really showed a lot of affection and I showed a lot of public affection was when, when I'm, when I met my wife, that was the first time I showed, like, I wasn't with it, but she was with, she was, she wanted it, you know, and I gave it to her, but the women before that, I preferred to just be chill. I treat like homeboys, you know what I mean? Like, yo, what's up? What's... But when we got in that bedroom and that's what I'm saying with Salah. I think it's like this outside, but when they get in that motherfucking bedroom and them rolls start dropping, <laughs> Salah gets excited. <laughs> gets too excited. <laughs> so that's my that's my opinion. That's my take. That's my take. But that's not even why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. It's some oh, somebody said let's snipe Feudy Beauty. Feudy Beauty's live? I mean, this is not a joke for me. I took my Shahada and we can catch I a live Feudy Beauty. Fully intend to. It's, it, I mean, I believe in it. You know, I know people are skeptical, but they're always going to be, and it doesn't. I have to learn that. It's not my business what people think of me, you know? I can't control that, so. I don't know how people watch this. <laughs> I don't know how people watch this, though. Be honest with you. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, I, I don't know how people watch this. You just, you eat a salad and... <clears throat> I Like I said before in the past, I said... This shit is this shit is boring. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Miss Abella. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Angela. How Hi. are you? I'm not. So you're homeless? Yeah, I guess. Didn't she say she's not gonna stream till she get back to Canada? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna stream until I get back to Canada. Is she even Canada? Is she back? She's not even back to Canada. Nope, she's still in Kuwait. Anyway, that's not even why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here today for a special person, Vicky fucking Vibes. Now, listen to me. There's a lot of things going on, and I got I to gotta express it. I got to say something. Now, Vicky Vibes came on to Mrs. Hussey's stream the other day, and she said this. Roll it. Let me, let me change that, sorry. 
That was from one uh, a certain MSG lady fucking called me that. <clears throat> you know, that's a good word, MSG. <laughs> okay, so before we get started, tell everybody about <laughs> those. Cover for me. No, put it. Okay, I'm going to do. Wait, where's my thing? Hello, Frog Splashed. Is that the what you always crave about? Uh, no, brag about? I got it. Less calories. I love the freaking um almond milk latte, but it's too many calories. So today I got sugar free vanilla with less. I got sugar cookie syrup. So Vicky Vibe's gonna tell us some freaky shit today. Vanilla. She's gonna tell us. Does it taste? Does she's gonna talk to us about naked sex wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. If you have children in the room, <laughs> please, Miss Hussey and Miss Hussey and Vicky want to participate in sex wrestling. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I didn't even know that was a thing. And, and oat milk. No, it doesn't taste at all. Nowhere near as good. They call it kinks. But... You know what? Sugar, like NutraSweet and stuff like that doesn't dumplings and buckwheat noodles with peanut butter. Yeah. What are you talking I about mean, food? I'm usually good to go home when the clubs are ready to close at the latest. Like at the latest, what is there left to do after the clubs close? I mean, maybe for <laughs> <laughs> you saw how she wiped her lip. <laughs> hey, uh, Vicky Bobs, what is there to do after the club closes? Well, uh, <laughs> there's these glory holes <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> What is there to do after the club closed? You tell me. <laughs> well, there's a, uh, you know, there's a, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and then they bring this freaky deaky dude. <laughs> I don't know where they find these people. But they bring this freaky deaky dude to explain sex wrestling. Oh, roll it. I don't know. Kinky, I guess, a little bit. But I don't like the tying me up. No, 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 no. They're about to talk about sex wrestling. <laughs> The there's, a, there's a test you can take, a BDSM test. Um, yeah, I read Alex knows about it. You damn right, TJ. Um, send me the test. Okay, somebody said no but the test. Nova no, says do it on my me. channel. Do it on my channel, Nova. Oh, she's going to go live later. Y'all gonna talk about some kinky shit? Yeah, I don't like to be tied up. I don't like that stuff. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm a he said I don't like to be tied up. What the hell do you gotta tie my hands? You gonna leave me there tied up and leave? No. These are tiny. No, I do have some hard nose. Like what? <laughs> I don't like. Well, don't hold like... on. We can't say everything on whatever. Yeah. Well, okay, what what so nose? Well. Yeah. She don't have that many hard nose. Maybe just one. <laughs> Man, God damn, Vicky, what the hell's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Your husband get everything, don't he? Uh, I have some hard nose. Um, let me see. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are your nose? No, I have a few. I'm kidding. Because you don't understand how out of my ass it actually gets. Is it like this in New York? <laughs> you don't know how freaky it actually gets. Please. <laughs> How freaky does it get? <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> God, y'all can't have sex like normal human beings? It actually gets way freakier than you think. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? All right, you want to do a kinky stream, Nova? Yeah, Wait, you should. Parker. That would be fun. Miss, tell Miss Parker. Oh, oh she got... I'm she trying to go on Miss Parker's She's the queen of kink, honey. <laughs> She the queen of kinky. What? No, you gotta get Videl on. Because Videl needs to open up a little more. I'm so damn tired of you being so damn private. You all over the damn place and not saying nothing. Speak I up. Don't need a Wait, look at look at Videl's comment. What? I don't need a stupid online test to tell me what the fuck I like. Now she that's did bring I, on a freaky dude. Here's saying. a freaky dude that comes that's on. Fine. They won't hurt you. I don't know who this guy is, but he's horny. There you are. He comes on super horny. No, what you talking about? This guy comes on Liddell, super horny. You would come on for me. And he starts talking about sex wrestling. 
<laughs> I'm, oh, really? I'm trying to make money, boo. Yeah, but okay, I'm TJ is coming up. Yeah, but Vidal, I'm not his gonna name is uh, uh, here's it. Unless TJ, what's up, boo? Hi, can you hear me? yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear there you are. Hello, Hi. there you go. Hello, uh, shot like I was gonna do this on, on onto my computer, but it's giving me problems, so I'm using. He reminds me of those people that are very proper, but freaky as fuck, right? Like that kid in class that's just like real nice. Hey, how's it going, everybody? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm having a good day. How's everybody? Okay. Turned in all my homework. And then like later at night, this motherfucker got black strap ones with a fucking ball in his mouth. <laughs> hey, bitches! <laughs> He's like, hey, how you? how's everybody doing? How's everybody? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Uh, I'm ready to, I'm ready to suck a dick. <laughs> hey, that guy's in my class. <laughs> Man, he looks like a real nice person, a real nice guy. <laughs> God damn it, who would have thought? You can't, you can't go by people's looks. My phone for now. Okay. It's all proper. All TJ, right, so, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, just use right. TG terms. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. All right, so so to answer your question, like like what I do, it could be rather real or or the name could be fake. Most of it that it well, sorry, not fake, but it, I think that I think the technical term is called the amateur. So it's okay. not like so it's not like real, like the real punches or like real kicks or anything. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't have any experience, that's fine. They won't hurt you. Mm -hmm. Um. But um, but in terms of what uh Vicky mentioned, you mentioned about like an ending. You said right, yeah. Like um, all right. So so in this case, like like I usually talk to the person that I'm talking to, whether um, that's a guy or a girl. <laughs> this dude's a freak. <laughs> what he's talking about? Thank you for the five dollar don't know. Uh, Tabby, your mama, you deep in girl world now. <laughs> Get it, baby. So what this man is talking to us about? He's telling us that he's a amateur. I don't know how to say this um, correctly. He's an amateur uh, wrestler, but not in your normal terms of wrestling. They're butt ass naked and they're like sex wrestling. I don't know. <laughs> and then before you get into this fight, you talk. He's telling you, you talk to your part, the person that you're about to wrestle with and you let them know if there's going to be a happy ending at the end or not, which basically means either you're going to bust a nut or not. This is disgusting. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what are y'all into? <laughs> so I tell the guy before if it, yeah, you could get hurt. Yeah. The only thing that hurts is your butthole. <laughs> it's a lot of booty banging. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> y'all can't be normal people. Huh? <laughs> For a second, everything got to be freaky. God damn. Everybody's talking about, ah, oh, man, we naked wrestling and fucking wrestling. That's nasty. <laughs> I don't want to go to that. <laughs> Can you imagine being in a crowd, <laughs> watching two people wrestling and having sex at the same time? Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> Come flying all over the place. <laughs> ah, it's like, my, I got me. <laughs> I was just watching. <laughs> Oh, man. Everybody in that motherfucker got pink eye. I swear to God. <laughs> After it's over, everybody in the crowd got pink eye. <laughs> I was too close to a booty hole. <laughs> What's going on here? I told you, he looks like a nice, proper guy. You wouldn't think he was into all of this. <laughs> he looked like a type of person, you know, look, look, look like a type of person to walk, if you're old, you walk your groceries to your car. Hey, you know, he, now we, we find out he all freaky dicky. The Mickey vibes like, yeah, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> now Hussy want to get involved. Hussy said he want to bring his booty hole <laughs> to this goddamn shit. <laughs> We're looking for fresh booty holes every day. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> roll it. And, uh, 
and we usually try to improvise and, and to see what we could do. Because at the end of the day, we're just trying to make content, whether it's pro wrestling, whether it's kinky, whether stuff like that. And Wait, what, 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 what content? <laughs> what kind of content is this? <laughs> we're trying to make content at the end of the day. <laughs> what? <laughs> it sounded like y'all trying to make porn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you can't find this on YouTube? <laughs> Roll it. I used to do BDSM at, 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 at one point. Oh, man. But, um, <laughs> but the thing is that you could choose however you want the content to be as long right. as you have people watching your content. So it's like, like if you want to be something different or, or, or I guess like try to combine different content, then that's totally fine. Like as long as, as you have like a connection with people that have the same, um, I guess, the same kind of interest. Right, right. So you can decide how you want that ending yes, <laughs> ahead of you can you can decide how you want that ending <laughs> you can come 50 different ways <laughs> on top of the rope <laughs> you could do a a, a, a choke slam <laughs> what the fuck is going on <laughs> i've never heard no shit like this <laughs> you can choose how you come <laughs> What is there? A, what, what is there? A clipboard when they give it to you? <laughs> Here's a clipboard. Uh, you got we got fifty we got fifty different ways. Uh, choose one. <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> this is disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> you can choose how you want to come. <laughs> what? Oh man! Like that's yes. what the plan is. You set up a goal and you say, "I want it this way, that way." <laughs> that he set up a goal. <laughs> It's like you're at home beforehand. <laughs> like, I can have goals. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Come on top of a fucking wrestling ring. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is gross. This is gross. <laughs> it's really good. So there are no surprises, no disappointments. No, well, it's always <laughs> like that. There's never, even in BDSM, there's no surprises. There's no surprises. Um, yeah. For the most what? part, but um, <laughs> I mean, like you always know, yeah, like what what the options are, um, right. <laughs> so, was an appetizer? But like, order? do you know evolved fights? Yes, I do. Yeah, like that stuff. I'd like that better than just like doing nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> like Vicky, you a freak? <laughs> hey, not to do it. <laughs> Oh man, you freak. You freak. Oh man. <laughs> Vicky scares me. <laughs> That's one woman that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Have you ever done this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, that's the only woman on earth that scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Instead of me smashing her, she'll smash me. <laughs> End up with weird shit in my asshole. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I come out all taped up and chair and, and, and tied up to my chair. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> what happened to you? Vicky vibes. <laughs> Be a fucking horror movie. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Just what happened? <laughs> Vicky Vibes, man. <laughs> what happened to your asshole, dog? <laughs> I don't know. I just went to go visit. <laughs> I went to New York City. <laughs> Met up with some content creators. <laughs> now my asshole is blown up. <laughs> Give me out this motherfucking chair. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> The fuck is going on? She she scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> you go to Vicky Bob's house, you better watch what you drinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good. I brought my own drink. <laughs> Y'all not fucking with me today. <laughs> Her husband be looking at you from the side. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got uh, got some rope. <laughs> got some... Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, mm. go ahead. Again, that's up to the person. That's up to whatever, how they want it to be. Um, 
for me, I did have experience when it came to certain wrestling, but because I got hurt numerous times, it like to me, I just felt like that it wasn't for me. So it was like I just had to make my own business when it came to the wrestling thing that I do, and then and and, and it definitely took some time, and now here I am having my own uh, business when it came to wrestling. So right. I'm getting more people coming in, um, and, and and and. Uh, I wonder. When you do this naked sex wrestling, I wonder when new people come in, do you test them? How does that even work? They just come in and be like, okay, I got a fresh booty hole. <laughs> I'm freshly, I'm freshly ready for some dick. <laughs> Never gave a head before, but it's time. <laughs> How does this even work? <laughs> he owns this shit. How do you even accept applications for this? <laughs> Hussy's like, yeah, I'm, I want to join. <laughs> I join. Um, the thing is, is that that's not my only source of income because I also do music and I also do... Um, Thank God. I also do the IT, so it's like more side hustles the better. Right, you know? right, right. Of course, yeah. Uh, TJ, oh, how do, uh -huh. I, how, do, how do I inquire about this wrestling thing? Like in my area, what what is it called? In my area. <laughs> oh no, um, it's called drop it, it your could be anything really. Like like it's called drop your draws production. <laughs> oh man, well how can I inquire about this uh, wrestling? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> it's behind every 7 Eleven. <laughs> the dumpster behind 7 <laughs> Eleven. Oh, man. That's where we at. Um, like to me, I just made my own thing and it worked. The difference is that you just got to communicate uh, with the people that's around the area. And the thing is that I already know about like five, six people when it comes to the men's side. And. Um, <laughs> Bet you do. <laughs> no, five, six men. <laughs> Fuck is going on here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> know about five, six men when it comes to the men's side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, just try to reach out. Just try to reach out whoever has the same uh, kind of interest. Like when it comes to the female side, it's a little bit different um, mm, because right. I know not everyone is a. Uh, comfortable with with like certain things right and that's fine like um the point the the key point is uh basically connect uh for example when you go to the clubs mm -hmm. like you try to connect with people that's what i did back in new york i used to go to clubs lounge okay. places just to meet up with people and then mm -hmm. boom <laughs> he's like yeah that's how you do it <laughs> you go to clubs and you meet up with some people and then boom ask them do you want to do some naked wrestling <laughs> Where I uh, put you in the figure four and then put my dick in your booty hole. <laughs> Are you down with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> right. But um, he's but like, what are you asking, Hussey? Like, if you want to do it? Or because yeah, I, if I, how do I look into it? Like, is, what is this called? But wait, listen. I think TJ is talking about profiting from, from it and not yeah. like in the bedroom only. Right. You're talking I, about in the bedroom only, right? Yeah. No, no. Um, no. Oh, oh, no. About in the oh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> what is this called? What is this called? Kink wrestling? <laughs> um, Kink wrestling. I don't think it's an actual name. Well, huh? uh, what happened? Look up. I want to Google this. I want to <laughs> Google this and find out. This is motherfucker got excited. <laughs> he said, man, y'all getting me hard. <laughs> I want to Google this. <laughs> man, Hussey got hard. <laughs> He's like, he was like, man, I want to Google this. <laughs> My penis is aroused. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> man, I want to Google this shit. <laughs> I want to kick them from my stream. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what y'all motherfuckers talking about? <laughs> the fuck? Interested. What do I do? What I, I think you could type up like it, Drop like your for dogs. your thing, you could just call it gay wrestling. Just put hashtag <laughs> gay wrestling. Just type gay wrestling. <laughs> just type in gay wrestling. <laughs> you got guys behind other guys. <laughs> what the fuck, is cool? fuck is going on? Wrestling, and then uh, then you'll find Break what up. kind that they do. I mean, All right, you guys, thank be, you so you know. much for coming. I will see you next time. Always remember to love. No. What? what? I was like, what? That was like, what? That was it. <laughs> I got to look something up. Shut up.
<laughs> oh really um it's like um how would you explain it like i think he's done this. i don't know it's like a kink like you TJ, explain. It's like touchy feely. It's touchy feely wrestling um, for you to get aroused and also wrestle, but without hurting yeah. the person. What do you guys? What, what do you guys like? Wrestle with feathers? <laughs> woo, woo! <laughs> without getting hurt. Somebody in the right. chat said, "What kind of fight?" What do you mean without getting hurt? Somebody's booty. Hey, somebody's booty hole is getting hurt. <laughs> He said, he said it's wrestling without getting hurt. <laughs> Somebody's booty hole. <laughs> Somebody going to be hurting. <laughs> ah, God damn. <laughs> Somebody not going to be able to sit down <laughs> for a couple of days. What do you mean ain't nobody getting hurt? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what the fuck? fuck is this? <laughs> nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Just a couple booty holes. <laughs> and um okay. Rub me the wrong way, fighting. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> Rub me the wrong way. <laughs> Again, it, it, it could be anything really. Um like I know some women they do cat fighting. I mean, like me personally, that's not my type of thing. But um uh it, it could be anything. Something could be just pro wrestling, some of them could take it to a little extreme like fighting. something eight like above if like um again it, it could just be any what is above what is going on <laughs> am i living under am i am i not living what's going on it can go above like it can go <laughs> like, like what are y'all jumping out of planes and <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> it can go above <laughs> this dude this dude's a freak. <laughs> I would have never thought if I saw this man in, on the streets, I would have been like, he's just a normal guy. <laughs> Probably work work at El Pollo Loco or something. I don't know. <laughs> McDonald's, maybe a, a, a Walmart worker or something. This motherfucker's a freak. <laughs> man, there's stuff. There's some stuff you need to see. <laughs> God. Like, there's no particular genre. You just got to think of, like, how to oh. entertain the audience. Oh, oh, really? I'm talking about evolved fights, which is like... Oh. I don't know if you've ever heard of the upper floor. Or like... <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, tell us about it. <laughs> the upper floor. Well, hold on. Let me lean in. <laughs> Let me lean in. Uh, uh, okay. Go ahead. It's just like a kink where they fight and then I can't even say it on here. <laughs> she scares me, dog. She scares, she scares the fuck out of me. I'm not even lying. <laughs> I can't even say it on here. I don't. I don't even want to tell you what the fuck is about to happen in this motherfucking place. Okay? I don't even want to say it. <laughs> I don't even want to say what happens on the upper floor. <laughs> oh man, I don't even want to say it. No. But <laughs> I mean, I don't know if TJ does that that kind of fighting but i think he just does the like <laughs> i can't say it on here the, um... there's levels to this katie what's up mfw I mean, of it, and like uh i think i would i mean from watching yours i would say that there has it has to do with some kind of like um some degradation kink to some point to some extent because yeah down talking but oh, in I'm, right really, I'm talking the the point is to <laughs> I don't know how to say you it. Know, oh really? You know what she's talking about. But I, I liked I it. I was like, oh my God. Now I watch it a lot actually. I'm gonna put... I like I like um I like the the goal. Like that's what is like exciting about it. That the goal oh, yeah. is to but if there's no goal, then I'm like, eh. Right. <laughs> you mean the goal is to come? <laughs> if they're not coming, <laughs> shit's whack. <laughs> oh, man. You can see Vicky Vibes in the crowd rating the shit. <laughs> that was whack. None of you guys came. Leave. Next. <laughs> Next round. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Brittany, you, 
hey man <laughs> you're you're not the only one right right oh yeah so so um again for me i usually talk to them and, and to see like what would benefit you what would benefit me and then if it works out then it works out but the thing is is that that's just a weird conversation <laughs> normal people just can't have a conversation like that you know like hey hey, hey before we get in this wrestling match Let's have let's let's exp- let, 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 let's let's see what you're down to do and what I'm down to do. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm willing to take four pumps in the booty hole. <laughs> Don't go over that. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> How do these conversations even happen? <laughs> I'm not comfortable with the conversation. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> listen to me. I just gotta um listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you comfortable with and what am I comfortable with? All right. That's where we're going. <laughs> My God. <laughs> just, just the tip. <laughs> I'm only comfortable with the tip. <laughs> oh, don't go too deep down my throat. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the other people, they have their own you know, thing going on. So it's like, I, I can't really say what people do specifically because everybody has their own things differently, you know? Right, 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 right. Yeah, like I saw one Mysterio. Girl, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the real Ray Mysterio. That's Ray Mysterio with his, with his goddamn mask off. <laughs> now we know what that motherfucker really be getting into with all them flips. How do I even say this? I saw, yes, yes, oh, really? But not <laughs> just that, like, I want, like, the... Oh, that's all you want, Elsie. You're, Shut like, it. fighting each other to, like, see who can make the other one happy. Uh. <laughs> I've never been in a fight like that. <laughs> now I'm looking at fights a lot differently. <laughs> you ever been fighting with somebody and thought to yourself, hey, man, this is kind of arousing <laughs> I think I might come <laughs> that'll stop a fight real quick won't it <laughs> if you ever get your ass beat get just get a hard on and then come <laughs> the person beating your ass will be like yeah mother wait a minute what what what's going on here <laughs> I quit <laughs> oh man <laughs> And that yeah, is love that. I love that. Really <laughs> she really does. You saw how excited she got right there? <laughs> I love that. Oh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Man, Vicky Vibes is a freak. <laughs> God, God damn. It's <laughs> a lot of women to handle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> It's not even why we're here today, ladies and gentlemen. Vicky Vibes' uh, vlog that just hit um, the internet. So Vicky vlogs. Vicky Vibes says she's gonna do more vlogs. <laughs> I hope not. I hope we're not going to that wrestling place because <laughs> then I'm gonna have to click off. But uh, Vicky Vibes is in New York, and here is her vlog. Roll it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, my voice is still kind of crappy. I have laundry on my back. We're going to the laundry mat. We're doing, we're doing some stuff today, but before we get into it, hello, if you're new here, I'm Vicky Vibes, and welcome to a vlog. It's been so long. Happy New Year. I'm so excited to start vlogging again and letting you guys in on everything. But before we do get into that, here's like a little recap of the year. Here's a recap of the year. You, you, you got to get your camera right. <laughs> See, now I know what kind of freaky shit Vicky Vibes be getting into by her eyeliner. <laughs> Wherever she just came back from, <laughs> it went all the way down. <laughs> oh, yep. Oh, is that her man right there? Is that Vicky Vibes' man? Roll that back. Roll that back. That's me right there. That's me. That's me. Yep, that's me. That's me. That's me at the club. That's exactly what I do at the club. When I go to the club, I do the exact same thing. That's me. That's me. All, all my broke niggas, what's up? <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> when you buy your girl a drink, 
When you buy your girl a drink, you don't buy her her own drink. You get one drink and with two straws. Hell yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> For all my broke niggas, what up? <laughs> I buy one drink with two straws. That's what you got to do right there. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> Fuck all that. How much for a drink? $20? Yeah, we get one. <laughs> you get a straw, I get one. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, whoever, whoever sips the fastest gets drunk the fastest. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, that's not her man? <laughs> Vicky Vines with the shit. <laughs> we don't know who her man is. <laughs> she can be with any man. <laughs> I need to be in a relationship like Vicky. <laughs> yeah, the guy that, yeah, the guy that's licking on her neck. Yeah, that ain't her guy. <laughs> the, the guy that's licking whipped cream off her chest. That ain't her man. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's going on? <laughs> oh, man. He's the, he's the finisher. <laughs> what in the city, girl? I know her. <laughs> Can you imagine if I catch my woman <laughs> sipping again, sipping a drink with another man <laughs> at the club? Like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what in the cock hold? <laughs> oh, man. She said, that ain't her man. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> well, then, damn. <laughs> this relationship is going where <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have her home by 10. <laughs> Have her home by 10. The chat is undefeated. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> AJ, AJ said, have her home by 10, dog. <laughs> All right, man. See you later. <laughs> oh, have her home by 10. Oh, man. Oh, man. She living her best life. Facts. <laughs> Facts. I'm jealous. <laughs> I can't lie to you. <laughs> I can't lie to you. I'm jealous, man. Ooh. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay, we at the parade. All right. Oh, I think she's an actress. Carnival. Oh, we went to the carnival? Okay. Is FFG there? I wonder if FFG's on one of them rides by herself again. <laughs> there, there goes, there goes FFG right up there. <laughs> there she goes by herself. <laughs> she got to be there. Oh, wait a minute! No, no, no! Don't try to, don't try to go past that real quick. Oh, Vicky. Okay, Vicky. At the beach? <laughs> she looked like she was about to drown right there. I don't know the music. I don't know if it's copyright. There goes Hussy. <laughs> I never, I've never seen Hussy stand up. I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I've never seen Hussy standing up. I always see her like, like, like on the desk. <laughs> Hussey, I thought I thought Hussey was just like a streamer that was just like you know wears wigs and hats, but Hussey wears them wigs everywhere. She's about that life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pause. <laughs> what's going? What's going on here? Hold on. What is? What in the dingling? <laughs> Where are you at, Vicky? <laughs> What in the dingaling is going on here? Look at this dude. What is going on? What in the hell? Oh, oh man, he dressed up like that bitch from Street Fighter. What's that? What's that bitch from Street Fighter name? He dressed up just like her with the dingaling out. Pulse. Man, Vicky, where you be going? <laughs> oh, man, if I'm ever in New York. <laughs> Cammy, yeah. <laughs> if I'm ever in New York, 
Vicky's like, yo, your mommy, you in town? <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> let's go out. Hell no. <laughs> let me choose the spot. <laughs> Is that Mortal Kombat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Valenia, yeah, yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's more on combat, one of them, <laughs> dress definitely, dress just like her, with the little, with the little Russian, uh, hat, <laughs> with the chains on, <laughs> look at this person right here, ready to get ready for it, <laughs> she's ready for it, whatever, she's ready for the action, <laughs> whatever's about to happen right now, she's, she's prepared, <laughs> or he's prepared, <laughs> oh, she hit the fucking, Hey yo! <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> he hit the fucking he hit the whole floor. <laughs> but he, he put a hole in that floor. What <laughs> 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 a dick hole in it! <laughs> oh, oh man! <laughs> Biggie vibes. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh man, is Street Fighter is Cammy? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. Oh man, she turned off. Is that a, is it, okay? Is that her cousin? That got to be her cousin or something. That got to be her cousin. I can't just keep seeing uh, Vicky with random dudes. Which one is her man? Please point him out. That looks like a cousin. Fuck, they just wrestling in the fucking. Uh oh. Uh-oh, that's where the wrestling come from. Look at this. <laughs> now I see where she get it. <laughs> look, look at they wrestling in the living room. Watch this. <laughs> look at that. Hey, getting started. <laughs> this is the pre-fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're uh we're pre-fighting. <laughs> we're, uh, what's going on after this? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> That's where she got all that wrestling bullshit from. Oh uh, man. <laughs> TJ bricked up. <laughs> oh, is that her man? Is that that gotta be her man right there? Come on, y'all. Going too far back. This shit's cut quick. Is that it? That gotta be her man right there. That's him right there, right? That's him right there, please. Somebody give me verification. Give me verification, somebody in here. Is that is that him or is that somebody? Are we are she just out here kissing everybody? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's wrestler number two. <laughs> ooh, ooh, is that him? Look like a cockold. You have to figure it out. Damn. Man, <laughs> you gotta figure it out. <laughs> I thought she was with I. I thought I, I'm. I thought she was with a black dude. That's why I thought she was with a nigga. <laughs> I thought she was with Tyrese. <laughs> man, thought she had a chocolate thing. Yeah, that's her man, dog. Definitely kissed her on the lips and everything. Another random dude. Man, I got to be like Vicky. I got to be like Vicky Vibes, man. Oh, God. I got to be like Vicky Vibes. I got to live my life like that. <laughs> I'll be divorced like a motherfucker, wouldn't I be? <laughs> my wife ain't putting up with none of that shit. <laughs> you about to go where? <laughs> with who? And share a cup with who? I think the music is off. Today is my husband's birthday. Oh, my God. This car just drove on the fucking sidewalk. Oh, my God. They're playing my baby. Okay, I don't know what song that is. That might be copyrighted too. Oh, you, you just go to the bodega? Is that what they call it in New York? The bodega? They just have cakes and shit. The bodega. And then I'm going to go back to the laundry. Okay. Because that's what we do in New York. We just walk. New York. Also, none of y'all have to worry because... I got a really small dress leche, so you won't have. Wait a minute, is this her house? Is this Vicky's house? <clears throat> okay, so she went through the door, right? And this is the hallway. Okay. Because that's what we do in New York. We just walk. Also, none of y'all have to worry because I got a really. What the 
fuck is that thing hanging from the... <laughs> what is that, a sperm drop? <laughs> Can you imagine going to Vicky's house and that thing, and you just, that thing just hit you in the fucking face? <laughs> the fuck is this? <laughs> this shit out of my face! <laughs> Why is that thing hanging like that? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's a switch. I guess. It doesn't gotta be that low. <laughs> You're walking in and shit, and shit right there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Really small tres leches, so you won't have to watch me put soap on anything. For those of you who are new here and don't know what that means, I have an eating disorder oh. called binge eating disorder. B E D. And oh, I, I binge eat all this fucking time. Shit, I got that same disorder. Also, I live on a four floor walk up, so we're gonna be walking for a while. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> wait, B B, back up. Wait, the fourth floor? This is not just a house. <laughs> this is not just one house. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. This is an apartment? <laughs> I'm confused. So she went to go get her mail in the, in, in the room. When you walk in, you, you're in this little room and you went to go get the mail and then you go up four floors? So you won't have to watch me put soap on anything. For those of you who are new here and don't know what that means, I have an eating disorder. Called binge eating disorder, B E D. And oh, also, I live on a four floor walk up, so we're gonna be walking for a while. Yo, you know how small that is? <laughs> how many people live in that building? <laughs> Can you imagine if you showed up to that building at the same time with somebody else? <laughs> y'all squished in that motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all gotta, y'all gotta decide on who goes up the stairs first because it's so small. <laughs> hey, uh, last week I let you go first, remember? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You go first, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! It's my turn. <laughs> Can you imagine if everybody showed up at the same time? <laughs> There'd be a line outside. <laughs> you go first. No, you, 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 you. <laughs> oh, fuck! I got a doorman that take numbers. <laughs> Number two, you number two. Yeah, it's your time to. Uh, yeah, it's your turn to go up the stairs. <laughs> oh man, it's one apartment floor. floor. God. <laughs> Sometimes I feel the urge to binge, and, and the lights just go on every time you go binge, up. I have to destroy what I'm addicted to, which is the problem, sugary foods, basically. show you how, I, how adorable look it's little presents he opened one last night I bet he but... did <laughs> bet he did he's just like he opened one last night <laughs> surprise <laughs> he opened one last night she brought tj <laughs> surprise i got you some wrestlers <laughs> Put him in a headlock. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <laughs> the, the best present ever. <laughs> DJ came through. Oh man. I, I I put up like little decorations. That's why it looks like kid zone in here. It's cute. I know. I'm cute. I'm fucking cute as all fucking get out. I'm gonna make my husband some breakfast. I'm gonna be Ooh. like a really good wife. Um, today. Hi. So we are at the portion of the. I gotta give her props because my wife always fucks up my birthday. <laughs> she, she don't do shit. <laughs> God damn. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Can't lie to you. She got he got all them decorations, everything all nice. Got him. Got made him breakfast. My wife don't do shit. <laughs> Fuck. Where? Um. I want some wrestlers. I got my husband up. Pause. We're gonna no. do some birthday, Man, I saw female some birthday festivities, but he had to go pick up something. So he went. And I am going to install all of these fun things on Finnegan. Finnegan is my bike, for those of you who don't know. And uh, we don't really like, we don't really drive in New York. Well, we have a car. My husband drives. But it's just, it saves so much time to bike. So I pretty much bike everywhere. Um, and it's good for me too because it gets my movement in and all of that. But 
So I bought a bike rack because I'm getting into lifting again. I stopped lifting because body and be more body out um, to it too. I got this like seam thing on my head the long. It just it hurt. Then I bought this. But it was, it was a little price. Oh, it has space for my laptop too. You gonna put that bag oh, on the yes. bike? Look. So it comes with these clips on the back of it. It's called like pen something. I don't know. And it clips right on here. Not me. And then you can ride with this on the damn motherfucking side of your. I'm not gonna put that on the side of my. I'm not gonna put that on the side of my bike because that shit's gonna run into my goddamn tires. That shit too big. You gonna be leaning to one side. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't putting that shit on my bike. Whatever I gotta carry, I'm putting it on my back. Never put no shit like that on my bike. Oh, she gonna bake, she gonna put it on herself? Okay. Vicky Vibes is independent. Why, Vicky Vibes, why the fuck do you wear the biggest clothes on earth? Like, that's a big ass sweater. <laughs> it's a big pun sweater. What is going on? <laughs> Fat Joe sweater. Why you always wear these big ass clothes? I don't get it. I'm sorry, that's fine. A lady tried to take my book bag. <laughs> Savages in New York. <laughs> she was standing right there. Lady trying to come up, come up with her book bag. <laughs> hey man, what is up, Vicky? If this one, if a woman took your book bag, Vicky, you should have fucked her up. <laughs> you over there laughing? I would be like, bitch, hold on, <laughs> New York. <laughs> Hell, Alicia Keys playing in the background. <laughs> Welcome to New York. What can do is nothing you can do. I would have fucked her up, Vicky. Fuck all that. You was all polite and shit. You was like, ha ha ha. And yeah, it's my book bag. No, not me. I I, I would have had a reason to use that goddamn bike rack. <laughs> oh, you want to steal my motherfucking bag, huh? Well, wait a minute. I just got this, and I'm gonna use it over your head. <laughs> I would. That would have gave me the perfect excuse to beat a bitch's ass. <laughs> I wish a motherfucker would steal some shit of mine. <laughs> I'll be waiting for that day. <laughs> man, I, man, I might got, I, I know, I'm, I'm in New York all the time, Nova. I'll be in New York all the time. I'll be out there. I'll be in Manhattan. Uh, I'll be working out there sometimes. <clears throat> so I'll be out, I think I'll be out, I'm in Florida next month, and then uh, I think I'll be in, uh, I think I'll be in New York in uh, April, I think I am. I gotta check my dates, but I'll be out there, though. <laughs> Nah, I don't be. I I went to Brooklyn once. I've been to Queens like twice. I never been to the Bronx. I think she's from Brooklyn. I don't know, but yeah, a lot of a lot of goddamn a lot of a lot of Puerto Rican club reggaeton clubs out there. Mm. Mm. New York. Welcome to Brooklyn. <laughs> oh God, let me turn that off. Yeah, she's from Brooklyn. Okay. I've only been like Brooklyn like once. Got that bike rack fixed. Okay. 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 I, no, I'm not going to the Bronx. I, I refuse. <laughs> Place I'm not going. <laughs> you die there. You die there. Good luck. Not that. I have a doctor's appointment. Oh, you got a doctor's appointment. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and... Get ready, I'm gonna hop on my bike and ride over there. It's not too far, um, but I still need to go. And right where um, my doctor's office is, there was like some people stole some money from a Brinks truck, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, some people just stole money from a Brinks truck? What is going on? <laughs> Wasn't the dead president? <laughs> yeah, uh, just a normal day in New York. You know, somebody was just trying to rob a Brinks truck. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Bitch coming out of a goddamn trash can with two with two clocks. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> somebody just trying to rob a Brinks truck. That's all. <laughs> You know, Brinks trucks, man, that's the, that's the hardest thing to rob. They got a nigga literally in the back seat with a shoddy. <laughs> Motherfuckers just want to die, don't they? New <laughs> In a New York minute. <laughs> How, happens in the South, too? Oh, man. That motherfucker. No, nah, it, it used to happen like a long time ago in L.A., but they found out the hard way. <laughs> when, I think uh, when five kids got shot 
It was trying to rob a priest truck. That was it. <laughs> Them motherfuckers pull. They can't, they ain't got no, they ain't got, they ain't got, they, man, they savages, man. That motherfucker in the back truck, man. I saw that video, LA, like years, years ago. I think it was like in the 90s, early 90s. These five kids trying to rob a priest truck. And the guy, they got a guy that his only job is to have a gun in the back of the Brinks truck. And so they was taking money from the guy that was outside collecting. <laughs> that nigga got, he, he walked out of that Brinks truck and killed all five of them kids. And ain't no Brinks truck ever been robbed out here since. <laughs> they learned the hard way. That shit is dangerous. Well, I'm like, great. Now I gotta like, lock my bike over there and it's fucking freezing. Let's go. Oh, I put my thing on. I put my, um, the, what's not, the thing called? First of all, I'm not going to the doctor's office and riding my bike. That's just disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. That's too much sweat. You know what I mean? Like, you want to go to your doctor's office kind of clean. Like, I go to my doctor's office clean. I don't go to my doctor's office sweating. You know, especially if they're going to check my balls. <laughs> You be here with some sweaty ass balls. <laughs> yeah, excuse me, sir. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you just you just came over here with some sweaty balls. Yeah, I just uh rode my bike over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, goddamn, <laughs> could have drove today. <laughs> Going to no doctor's office with no sweaty ass balls. The bike rack on the back, back, finally. So yeah, but I can't. Miss, I really can't miss this appointment. And it's in 30 minutes, so let's go. We are getting our cookies checked. How many cookies? <laughs> How many pussies do you got? <laughs> cookies. <laughs> We're getting my multiple cookies checked. <laughs> cookies. I don't know. With our hussy shirt. <laughs> oh, I thought she... <laughs> I, was, I had to stop real quick. <laughs> I thought she was going to show her pussy. <laughs> We're getting our cookies checked. Yeah, let's check this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. Don't forget, y'all ladies, get your cookies checked. Every year, get a pat. Get tested frequently if you're sexually active. Mm -hmm. Make sure your cookie is nice and hydrated. Wait, what? <laughs> hydrated? <laughs> what do y'all, water that thing? <laughs> Too fucking it got this own sippy cup. What's going on? <laughs> oh, my pussy's uh thirsty. Hold on, hold on, real quick. <laughs> I the fuck is hydrated. <laughs> What's, go What's going on? <laughs> what do y'all freaky women be getting into? <laughs> Make sure it's hydrated, ladies. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's nice and wet. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna wrestle somebody. <laughs> fuck is going on <laughs> oh man hydrated what is going on vicky's on some shit satisfied and healthy good morning look i love my hussy merch um <clears throat> got some good merch though i can't lie though we're getting ready to go to the gym my voice sucks because i went out oh my god Oh, wait a minute. I got a dick in my goddamn cup. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this woman is too sexually active. <laughs> Look at you guys. I got a dick in my cup. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this house? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Just dicks lying around. <laughs> my God. It was from a scene we were doing. Don't worry. I came home with that. My husband's like... What is that? And when did you get that? I'm like, <laughs> her husband was like, <laughs> what is that? And why wasn't I invited? <laughs> you know, you ain't supposed to be doing this shit without me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> get TJ back here. <laughs> Bring his ass back. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> It's from a scene. Look how cute. I got these little silicone rings. Like, if you have, if you're married and you lift weight, <laughs> you can't really wear a ring. Um, man, I, not man, when I'm lifting weights, man, I take my shit off. I don't put no, nothing else on. I ain't, I ain't doing all of that. Can you imagine going to the gym and you want to lift and you want to take your ring off and you got to put a, a silicone one on? Why? <laughs> just, just take it off and put it to the side and just put it back on when you're done. Now, let me get the silicone ring just in case. 
Uh, while I'm doing lifts, I don't want nobody to hit on me. <laughs> Just take that shit off. <laughs> Got a silicone one. We care a lot about rings anyway, but <clears throat> it's cute. It's like a little it's silicone on. one. And then um, he got his really. <laughs> Wait a minute, Vicky. I got a question. <laughs> Why is your man's all his rings in the goddamn uh, cupboard? <laughs> Shouldn't they be on his hand? <laughs> Man, I wish I was Vicky's husband. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He got his shit all wrapped up, <laughs> tucked underneath the cupboard. <laughs> I gotta wear mine. <laughs> oh man, Vicky Lake. He got all of them in there. <laughs> Just wrapped, wrapped up in a weed packet. <laughs> I can't get away with nothing. <laughs> oh man, I can't get away with nothing. I swear to God, I can't. I gotta wear mine at all times. You imagine my wife pulling my shit out like that? Yeah, my husband's, all his rings are right here. Wait a minute, where is he at? <laughs> what is he doing? He ain't got his ring on? He in Vegas. <laughs> Man. Like this. Just cute little silicone rings so it doesn't dig into you. We're gonna take our bike to the gym. I'm gonna ride. Um, and then I was gonna go to Target after because I have to make a return. Yeah, so I have to strap everything to the bike rack and da 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 Okay, so. She did all this shit in one day. She 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 nearly got robbed. She nearly got robbed. She fixed her bike. She got a pap smear. Brinks a Brinks truck almost got robbed. She went to go return some stuff. Man, she had a full ass day. Cause I my day can't go like this. <laughs> my day stops at the doctor's office. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> Going to sleep. <laughs> she had a full ass day. Shout out to Vicky Vibes. <laughs> Shout out to Vicky Vibes and her vlog. We need more vlogs, Vicky. <laughs> we need more vlogs. Definitely need more vlogs. That was amazing. <laughs> oh man. She was like, she was like, oh, my vlogs are boring. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> they were fun as fuck. <laughs> she was amazing. I had a good time <laughs> watching that. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Um, shout out to Vicky for that. Um Next, I want to get into. I got air tag all the time. Yeah, I do. My wife keeps tabs on me. She don't play that shit. <laughs> she don't play that shit. I am Yaba, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I gotta say this. If y'all didn't watch Yaba stream last night, oh my God. I mean, yesterday. Oh my God. Oh my Lordy. This is the Yaba. This is the Yaba the goat. Oh man. This, this is the Yaba the goat. Um, shit. When she did this stream last night, uh, the DC one, I don't even, Says to be honest with you, I think I'm not even going to watch. Um, any more of her beauty beauty shit no more. But when she did this stream last night, if you missed it, oh my God, it was amazing. When you gotta give props to somebody, you gotta give props to somebody. When Yaba did that stream yesterday, it's called disappointing. Oh my God, when she went in, when she went in, when Yaba go in and she passionate, you can't beat her. You can't beat her, she goaded. She goaded. She like Michael Jordan dropping 60 when she just went to. You know what I mean? But then when she started talking about Beauty Beauty, she's like Michael Jordan on the Wizards. You know? She getting, giving you like 15, you know, to assist. But when she want to do some shit, she just show you like, hey, bitch, I'm not the one to fuck with. Like, I'm on a different level, all right? I wouldn't fuck with y'all, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to beef with her. Because when she on her shit, she on her shit. And yesterday, she showed us how great she is. And I and like, look, look, I'm an honest person. I am unbiased okay when somebody does something great i give them props i give them their flowers when somebody do some dumbass weak ass stream i call it trash and it's garbage i call it how it is and 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 maybe yaba don't get the views on this video like she's supposed to when she does beauty beauty but at the end of the day it ain't about the views it's about giving you a classic it's about nah shit you know what i mean like Nas don't get all the 
views and he don't get all the, you know, but he makes classics. And this video is going to go on for like 10, 20 years. This is the type of video you can look back 20 years from now and go, wow, that was an amazing video. <clears throat> because it was good. It was really fucking good. The way she went in. Is the that probably fucked up. And that the flash, they're in a, you can tell that they're in a dark room and that there was a flash on the phone. Look at Hussie's glasses. You sit in a dark room, whip out your phone, turn it on selfie mode and take a picture and see if it makes you close your eyes. Get that passion. The passion of Christ. Like she was in, she was in her bag yesterday. She was in her bag. But the reason why I'm, the reason why I'm talking like this is because that wasn't the first time Yaba was on that Michael Jordan shit. She was dropping 60. Another time when uh, Yaba dropped 60, when she was shitting on FFG. Now, listen, I never seen Yaba. I already, I knew they had beef. I knew that Yaba and FFG had beef. But I never got to actually see the fucking video of Yaba going in on FFG. And when I saw this video, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of three days ago when I did my live stream and I was talking shit about FFG. And all of FFG zombies and their morons came in here talking shit. But then I look back at this video and her zombie and all the FFG zombies and all the FFG's brainless morons, they all came at Yaba in her super chats, in her chat when she went at FFG. Now I see why Yaba don't go at FFG no more. It showed me in this video because she was, she went hard and it was amazing. But she caught a lot of backlash because she went at somebody that shared the same audience. And that's why Yaba reminds me of me. This is, rum, this is Yaba on her goat shit going at FFG. Roll it. Chantel, part of the whole goddamn fatty community, am I right, people? D. Higgins, Lee, Jenny, Isaac, Kelly, Blonde, Women, Ace Ross, April Mabel. <laughs> Listen. We got a lot of different opinions here, people, and we're just going to have to get right into it and cover it, guys. We're going to have time for the hellos, the goodbyes, the I love yous, the I hate yous. None of that, okay? Fuck Here's you. the thing, guys. Fuck <laughs> people. We're in a position, okay? I said no more fighting with other creators, especially creators from my own community, okay? But it happens sometimes, and it's not it's not as deep as a lot of y'all are making it out, okay? There's some things that we just don't agree on. Hey, just saying. And, you know, there's some things I'm going to speak out that I don't like that's going on. And um, I guess it's not even in our own community because I, I thought we were kind of all on the same page with the reactors and everything, but obviously that we're not, and that's totally fine. Take yeah, control of the community. <laughs> it's definitely, it's out of control, right? It's like we lit a fucking... Isn't that what I've been asking Yaba to do? I've been asking Yaba to do the exact same thing that she just that somebody just told her to do. Take control of the community. FFG is unhinged. Gary's a moron. Just saying's dumb as hell. Take control of the community, Yaba. You could do it. Check these fuckers. Roll it. Put a bunch of gas and lit a match, dude. It's just out of control. Hey, chef. Welcome, 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 welcome. Why does it even have to be a fight? <laughs> because people are so, because this is why. Because people are so highly invested into Chantel. They're so, they're so highly invested into Amber. Hey, Crystal, I haven't seen you in a while. This is what I said. Got, this is what I be saying. Email from Wendy's. This is me. Hilarious. No, I don't have memberships. I'm not doing memberships. Um, It's getting very messy. Absolutely. So I guess a few things were said on Twitter. Um, There were some things said in a video. That's why I'm going to. I'm definitely in Florida. Um. Next month, I'm I'm gonna be in Gaines. I'm gonna be in Gaines, um, Gainesville. Yeah, I'm in Gainesville. I got I got some projects I got to do. So yeah, we we should uh do some mukbangs, man. I never done one. <laughs> those uh those mex that Mexican food that you ate that one day, that should look good as hell. The tamales and all that should look good as hell. I want I when I watched it, you may, I was hungry as fuck, and I I was like I want to go to that Mexican spot. Uh, FFG's even in the thumbnail because I'm going to uh play a little bit of her video and just give my opinion on it it's not that deep guys i mean it's really not okay we can we can all survive under one community we can did you hear that gina from six yes to who i did a video on it i did you're so lost yeah if you don't follow on twitter you're probably lost <laughs> i know a lot of you guys are you know friends with 
our followers of French Fried Girl and your followers of me. That's totally yeah. fine, okay? That it's is fine. with the fighting. We're all on the same show. It goes to show that some people aren't here for the actual reason behind it. Okay, did you see what... No, I... what she said about my kids. Did she say something about my kids? I don't think so. I haven't seen anything like that. Okay, guys, so I guess it started out, for those of you who don't know, was um, there were some comments being posted about the cow tipping on this um, 2021. Twitter. Okay. Can y'all just stop for a minute, please? Jesus. <laughs> okay, and then for those who don't follow Take what exactly hour. cow tipping is, okay? We're going to have different opinions here, people. It's just what it is. Okay, we consider Chantel, Amber, like the cows of the community. I mean, you yourself, like I could become a cow if I put enough information out there. Anybody be can become a cow. It's the fact that they've put their life on YouTube, and it's so bizarre, okay? It's, you, you know what? You don't need to sit and explain what a cow is, okay? But now, and what we do in the reaction community is that we react and we watch and, you know, that's it. You're not supposed to, there's a line that you're not supposed to cross as far Facts. as, you know, Facts. interacting with said cow, especially when you get said cow off of the path that it's supposed to go. Okay. There's no interference there. Flag yes. on the plate. Okay. Yes. Flag on the plate. Agree, Yabba. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Stupid drama, why police content? Well, I mean, we could say the same about reaction channels, police and Chantel and Amber. So, I mean, do you. That's me. Why police content? Same thing. Why did they police uh, Amber and goddamn Judy? Man, y'all been spitting fucking crazy ass facts right here. And she's being attacked. Her chat is attacking her. Go. You want to start there? This is YouTube. It's just what we do. We're all policing con con content at the end of the day, whether it be me or another reaction channel, just because it changed from us... Uh, Policing the cow's content to the creator's content doesn't really matter, or the reaction's content. Talking, Yabba! Matter, okay? So, I, I didn't follow along because, honestly, like, I watched FFG in the beginning, and I really did think she was funny, and she probably had a good thing going. And I guess, yeah, I got a little salty. Maybe my feelings got a little hurt when she titled one of her streams something. Something to do with, like, support group or something. I was like, the nerve. You try to steal your, you try to steal your swag, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what FFG does. She's a swag, she's a swag stealer. The nerve of this one. I talk about I'm taking a break for a while and then she pops off with the support group. I'm like, I can't freaking believe this. Sam, can you believe this? And she's like, I can't believe it neither. So I was like, it's whatever. She sent me a DM or whatever and I didn't respond. You know, it wasn't that serious. It wasn't that deep to me. And Fuck her. Uh, she changed the title and that's when she came up with the girl gang. I mean, could you all imagine if I was over here on my channel and we do the little, it's stupid, it's immature, I get it, but just follow along. And we do the little support group gig, okay? And all of a sudden, I changed my title to Girl Gang. Y'all be like, what the fuck is this shit? It's totally <laughs> weird, okay? Yeah. So I took that as kind of like a dig. But whatever. Like I said, got over it. It's not that big of a deal. But I stopped watching her content. But as time goes on, and, you know, she's getting more popular, obviously, she's the most popular reactor in the community at this time, okay? And I'm like, well, what's going on over there? <laughs> she said I'm morally bankrupt, trailer. <laughs> Where does she say that, Tila? You keep saying that about my kids and stuff. I mean, unless you got some kind of receipt. I'm not going to believe that she said that, okay? Just follow along and try to tell y'all a story. So oh, I just, yeah, you know, I kind of just quit following her. I was like, well, whatever. It's not that serious. not that deep. Whatever. She wants to do that. So be it. It's like, you know, time goes on and she's like, you know, she's pulling 2,000 people in a uh, live stream. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, she's doing her thing over there. It's not something to do with jealousy. When somebody sees something and calls it out, it doesn't make them jealous. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's not what it is. Thank you. Thank you. When somebody sees something and calls it out, that don't mean they jealous or they clout chasing or all that weird shit y'all saying. That's just saying, that's just saying they just pointing out the dumb shit. Roll it. So when I go back and I listen and I hear people talking and they're like, yeah, FFG has got, you know, the inside scoop on Chantel. I'm like, oh, really? Something about, um, something to the effect of like, she knows the Nader dude or her people. Y'all are going to have to, for those of you who know, are going to have to explain it more to me. What kind of inside information does FFG have on Chantel? She knows Facts. her man. She knows people that knows her man. Facts. <laughs> Talks about head, cheater, head cheerleader. That's how she gets ahead. That's how FFG gets ahead. She gets ahead by inserting herself into the situation, not knowing facts, talking to people or talking to somebody and then coming up like, oh, I know I, I got the inside scoop. And if, and, and y'all was like, no, you're just supposed to be reacting. You're not supposed to insert yourself into the situation. You're supposed to let them do what they're supposed to do. Leader mode. Anybody. We're not special. Reactors are not special, okay? Any one of you in this chat, Lindsay, The Silence, Just Saying, Dina, can start a reaction channel and pull just as much views as any of us. We're not special. The only thing that makes us special is the people we react to. That's yep. it. She is moral and right. Okay. 
And if you, t- like, Chantel is like the hottest cow on the market right now, okay? Everybody wants That's to know what's cow. going on. There's cow. all this shit going on. That's hot cow on the market. So everybody wants to know, you know, what it is. But if you're talking about, you know, yo, oh, I know who she's talking about. I know this person in life, real life. And if you're out taking <laughs> selfies and shit at the local restaurant or whatever she goes to, of course, you're. that's easy. Anybody could go do that. Right now, if I went to Kentucky, drove my big ass over to Kentucky, and I was like, I'm outside of Amber Lynn's apartment. Could you imagine the numbers that I would get? Yeah. <laughs> you're nothing special. So the He's fact desperate. that you keep talking about your numbers just makes you look even more ridiculous. Of course, you got the numbers. You're acting like you you got the all the, all the no over there in your little group. Girl gang. <laughs> That's what you are, FFG. Yaba explains you perfectly. You talk about your numbers and I got this and that, but look at how you had to get it though. Act like you know these people taking pictures near her home. You have, you're so desperate. But like I have said, you should just leave it alone. You're not going for the views. Just react. That's it for the attention and blew up i mean well good for her but don't act like you didn't get there the same way that we did and also now you're acting like you have all this inside information that everybody else wants to have she's the hottest cow in the market yeah drama equals views you can like us both tiffany it's totally fine but facts that's what i'm I gonna say. speak my piece on it let it be that, that <laughs> so shit, yabba. i guess Talk that shit, yabba. like ffg wants to get a hold of Chantel and tell her the information that she knows about nader okay she says there's a ring hold on this is what i was waiting for she says there's a ring of Middle Eastern men who prey on emotionally vulnerable women. She said her abusive ex knew all these people, but apparently she was never in an... Uh, I'm not going to read that. So she knows about some kind of ring of men that are... Um, what Like, what do you think that you know that Chantel doesn't know? That's what I want to know. Okay. That's it. FFG likes to insert herself into the drama. And that's how she picks up the views. She's desperate and she's thirsty. Calling Chantel to warn her about where her Kuwait and uh, Natter and all this other shit was wrong. But why did Yaba stop? That's the question I got to ask. Yaba went the fuck hard on FFG because she's a moron and she constantly inserts herself into the situation for views. But why did Yaba stop? FFG ain't changed. Has FFG changed? What did we see? What did we just see a couple weeks ago FFG do? Oh, uh, uh, I'll, I'll take the cats to the veterinarian. I'll pay the bill. Pete's call me. She's always inserting herself in it for more views. The inside scoop. Well, when Beauty Beauty gets home, I, I might meet her and I might punch her in the face. inserting yourself what yaba said back then was 100 percent true is what i've been calling out about ffg this whole time i'm not hating on ffg i believe that ffg's content is terrible because she inserts herself she tries to be the be all to end all and she doesn't stop and yaba's like yo like why are you inserting yourself in this situation why are you calling Chantel? Why are you on the phone with her? Why are you talking to Natter's friends? Why are you doing all of this? Why do you need to take the cats to the veterinarian? Why are you so worried about it? I offered on Twitter. I know the perfect veterinarian. I can send them to your house. What? But that's how she pulls views. What Yaba said is absolutely 100% correct. In this video. Now, did ha- did Yaba catch a lot of heat for it? Of course she did. Because you can hear it in the chat. The chat could not believe that Yaba was going at FFG. Because they're brainless. They, do- they don't want somebody to think. They don't want a creator or a reactor to point out the dumb shit that one reactor does. They don't want that. Because they're so invested in their reactor, they'll go at the other reactor that they originally was fucking with. They originally was fucking with Yaba. But since Yaba's going at FFG, fuck Yaba. And that's why Yaba stopped. Because Yaba didn't want to get involved. She didn't want to split up her audience. Because her audience can't think for themselves. They can't go, they can't, they can't go, okay, what Yaba's saying is correct. 
I still fuck with you, Yaba. I still like FFG. But maybe FFG needs to calm down on some of that dumb shit she does. But I'm going to still watch both of y'all. They can't, de- they can't decipher like that. It's either you love FFG all the way or fuck you. And that's how our audience roll. Go. What makes you think by telling, and this supposedly has been going on since what, April? That she's had this this information that she keeps hitting around the office. It's kind of like, you know how Amber and Chantel both say they want to talk about it and they don't want to talk about it? And you're like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? She's been doing the same shit. She's doing the same shit that Chantel's doing. I'm going to talk about it, but I ain't going to talk about it. I know the ins and out, but I ain't going to tell y'all all of it. Did she bone him or something? Chantel DM'd her. She said someone her open. Yeah. But, um, so anyways, we have posted some shit about you're not supposed to tip the cow because you're not. You're supposed to let the, the person go off and do whatever they do. You're not supposed to, you know, Chantel knows what kind of guy Nader is. Chantel knows he's a drug addict. Chantel knows that he's a user. Chantel knows that he's yeah. an abuser. What else do you need to reach out to tell Chantel that's going to make her think any different about the man that she's in love with? Please tell me. What? What is it that you know that none of us know that she needs to know so bad that a- after all this shit that she knows about Nader, that's going to make her change her mind? I- so FFG's over here supposedly hating Chantel, but then calling her to warn her about Nader? I know he don't work. I know he's a bum. I know all these horrible things about this man, but the one thing that you hold in your hand is the ace card, yep. right? <laughs> That's what you're going to throw down to Chantel. Shadow, but, oh my God, I've got to break up with him. I've got to move on, you know? That's a way you're doing the same shit that Chantel does. You're manipulating your audience. That's all you're doing. So because we speak out on it, because we're supposed to watch the shit show, not be a part of it, for whatever weird reason, you want to be in Chantel's life. It's freaking creepy. I get it. You're not obviously. Thank you, Yaba. You want to be in Chantel's life so bad, it's freaking creepy. Showing up to her fashion shows, hugging her. And then we here. Go, gang. It's creepy. All that talk, that yelling, that screaming that you do on stream, that shit don't mean nothing. Because all you doing is manipulating your audience. To making them believe that you hate her with all your guts. And when next time you see her, you're going to punch her in the... You're not doing none of that. But I just wanted to show that. I wanted to show that because I was right. It proves that I was right. Now, I don't have to do all this research and all this shit that y'all want me to do. When all I had to do was look at Yaba's video about FFG and the things that I was saying about FFG is the exact shit that she just said in this video. Everything. And I said it. FFG, with the beef with Yaba and FFG back then, FFG ain't changed a lick. She's still the same fucking person. She's trying to insert herself into Chantel's life. I don't live that far from that bitch. <laughs> Didn't she want to, didn't she, before she went to Kuwait, didn't, before uh, Beauty Beauty went to Kuwait and said she was going to Kuwait, didn't fucking FFG want her cats? The woman wanted her fucking cats. Hey, you know what? Give the cats to me and I'll hold them. Wait, what? I mean, that's how desperate this woman is. But her audience don't see it. She wanted to fucking take her cats and hold them. Make content in the back, screaming and shitting on Chantel while her cats, while Chantel's cats are in her house. That's what she wanted to do. She's not even a cat owner. She had dogs. <laughs> she never had a cat in her fucking life. But she wants Chantel's cats. She didn't want to go to the pet store and get her own cats. Buy her own. Go to a cat cat shelter. No, she wanted Chantel's cats. She wanted those specific cats. She ain't never owned a cat in her life. She ain't got a litter box. She ain't got none of that. And she wanted Chantel's cats. She wanted to insert herself into Chantel's life so badly. And y'all honestly think that FFG could move on from Chantel. Now listen. Do I hate the hustle? Fuck no. 
if I was making five hundred dollars a video about a woman, <laughs> three hours, five hundred dollars. Saw her make the other night talking about Chantel. I might insert myself into that person's life too. <laughs> See it. <laughs> I might be calling a phone too. I don't know. <laughs> but if I, but at least if I do it, I'm going to let my audience know that I'm doing it. You know, I'm not going to pull this manipulation card to try to get a one up on all the other reactors. And 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 the thing I hate about FFG, the thing I hate about FFG is every, all the other reactors bow down to her. Like just saying, when FFG shitted on just saying just saying took the fucking knee. If FFG go live, Gary turns his fucking whole stream off. They're scared of somebody that's that wants to insert themselves into Chantel's life. The person that they say is disgusting, nasty, uh, evil, all the shit that all these reactors say about Feudy Beauty FFG is the one that wants to be in her life. So what that makes FFG? She wants to take her cats. She wants to go to her fashion show. She wants to hug her. She wants to take pictures of her when she sees her. She wants to go to whatever store she goes and take a selfie where Chantel was. FFG is worse than Chantel. You can't, you can't, you can't even, you can't even, you can't even say otherwise. Because FFG is manipulating her audience. She's manipulating them. She got them all brainwashed to believe she's some uh, anti Chantel hero when she's not. It's a person who wants to be this. She wants to. She she, she wants to. She, she wants to be involved in Chantel's life. She wants to make phone calls and be girl girly and happy with her whenever it fits her. Whenever it benefits her. If it benefits FFG to be friends with Chantel, FFG's going to take it. If it doesn't benefit FFG to be friends with Chantel, she's not going to be friends with her. That's why a lot of people were so shocked when me and Chantel started beefing. Or when I started talking shit about Chantel and we had a back and forth going. People were surprised because people were like, your mama doesn't make any sense. You're benefiting from being friends with Chantel. But I told you guys, I was never about that. I was never about trying to benefit or be positive or negative. I just keep it real. I don't care if it, I don't care where it takes me. I don't care if, I don't care if you get more money doing this or you get more money doing that. And that's why a lot FFGs and the other fucking uh, circle try to recruit me to go over there because they're like, yo, you see the numbers FFGs doing? You see the money FFGs making? Yo mama, you should turn into an FFG. You'd be the best one in town. I said, fuck no. Hell no. I respect myself way too much to want to take Chantel's cats for profit or for views. And I think what Yaba was saying in his video, which was amazing, is that reactors need to start respecting themselves a lot more. They need to stop trying to look for the what profits, you know, what's profitable. Because that's what these reactors do today. They see the profit in hating on Chantel. I see Gary's, Gary unfiltered. Oh my Jesus Lord. <laughs> that man's a desperate man. He's desperate to make that FUPA, FUPA chat. Thank you for the FUPA chat. Thank you for the, <clears throat> thank you for the FUPA chat. He's desperate. To say anything, come up with anything, come up with any plot. Tries to be like FFG. Just with a little spin on it. Same thing with Just Saying and the rest of these dumbass reactors. It's cool. To sh it's cool to go at Chantel. It's cool. She's a big cow. Is that what y'all call a cow? <laughs> She's the cow. She's the best cow on the market. But at the same time, it's okay to say, 
nice things about the cow. You don't always got to hate on the cow for everything. Sometimes the cows, sometimes the cows, you know, doing good things, you know. She's providing you milk. Thank her sometimes. Say thank you, big cow. I'm, I'm paying my rent off of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Something. Y'all motherfuckers trying to drive this cow into a goddamn jumping off a bridge. That's what <laughs> the way y'all talk. And see, the thing about it is, what happens is this. When all this cow tipping start happening, right? All these people want to cow tip and do all this weird shit. I got to show y'all. Oh, God. French fries, French fries live right now. We might just, we might just pop into that. That's my cow. That's my cow. Wait a minute. Before I get the French fry girl. I'm going to react to some, we're going to write to fat, fat girl. But this start happening. And this is sad. Because when you do all of this desperation and this dumb shit to this cow. Look at this. This shit start happening. I'm going to blow this up real I noticed when FFG's live, no other react, no other uh, beauty, beauty reactor goes live. <laughs> they bend that fucking knee. Here's a person, random person. Well, the trustee had no idea she had a YouTube channel and the amount of money she makes. You see what happens? I thought you wasn't supposed to interfere. Here is somebody hitting up Chantel's trustee. When they see one person go a, a certain distance, another person goes a mile. See, and this is what ma this is what drives your cow off of a fucking bridge when you guys do too fucking much. No, anyway. Let's go to my baby girl with the chins. FFG, FFG's live. We got it. We got to tap in. Chat. Let's, let's so see bad. the money she making. So bad. A family size port. It is, but this is for one person. Ma'am, stop it. <laughs> Someone in the chat says it's a family size person. It is, but this is for one person. No, it's for you. It's for you or for a family. It's for one person. Get the hell out of here. Fucking three tons of rice. It's for one person. Three That's tons for of six rice? people, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. How big are you, FFG? You pretty big. Guess how much I all this food like is. 900 pounds right now. One meal with a salad, bread. They give you like huge. That's one bread I have. They give you three huge ones. The beans, two kebabs, the salads. Like six bucks or like seven. Oh, okay. So they give you four big breads. So it's it's food for four people. You're eating uh, dinner for four, and uh, no, it's for one. I gotta see the meal. I gotta see the meals at FFG be eating. To be honest with you, I know she just be fucking killing fucking whatever fast food is near her house. I go to the doctor and get tested. Sorry. She gonna stop and she gonna say something about that. Confiscating the Laura, thank you again for the super chat and thanks for being here, girl. Girl, girl. Really? <laughs> oh man! She's literally, like our neighbors are like out there in the hallway. Exactly. She's talking about Chantel eating for four. Who ate them? Imagine that big, big ass fucking. Kim Kardashian buffalo. doesn't need to be on Ozempic because she have a sugar problem, and she's not overweight. I know I don't have to eat at all. <clears throat> at least I'm home full, which will be never. <laughs> Um, I know, yeah. I, it's gonna be surreal to be home. But before I get home, I have a long, arduous um, travel, <sighs> including a layover. <laughs> so I don't really. I'm not gonna. Last time I didn't even bring water with me or snacks. This time I'm gonna have a lot of things. <laughs> like flying with a toddler. Make sure you pack the snacks and like crayons. You see the region? <laughs> you stop for that, really FFG? Look at the reach. 
What did you stop for? I never told you that this, but one time there's soccer balls on top of your car. <laughs> it didn't make any damage, but... Okay, listen, blue me. Be straight, okay? Honesty, honesty here. Is it worth a damn? I'll watch it if it's worth a damn, but it's more of a garbage content. Uh, no. I said, hey, watch out. Hey, hello. What? <laughs> now, people watch this shit? This girl be raging. She don't even be saying well, that. because of medication, it shouldn't be trendy. Like, you should not be. <laughs> Georgia. Eating a salad and rice. Yeah, this yeah. is boring content. <laughs> My wedding ring thing was this. <laughs> no, well, it was a gift. <laughs> but That's it. I can't wait for FMG to hit the space know. bar again. What's her next mistake. comment going to be? The elevator. There's a shortage because of that. Well, that's up to the doctors not to prescribe it, you know, as well. What happened to Amy Ramadan? I can't see how somebody just fucking sits there and eats and people watch it. Do people work on Sunday? Not government. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. here, here we go. FFG. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so what? She chose the name Miriam when she did her Shahada. That's cute. Miriam sounds a lot like Maria. Mm, just saying. Um... When my when my dad was growing up, you guys know I've told, I've told you before. My dad was born in Egypt. He grew up in Egypt. There okay. was a, like a um, a woman who worked in their home, and okay. her name was Fatma. And my dad said the other day something like Chantal would take that name, and I I don't know. I laughed so hard at the way he said it. It just it would suit. You talk to your fucking dad about Chantal. Do you see how desperate this fat woman is? This over fucking fat piece of shit woman is. She's so wanna be in Chantel's life so much. They talk about it during family dinner. <laughs> like, ah, uh, father. Yeah, father, look, I was talking about Chantel and she's coming up with a new name. What do you think it might be? What? <laughs> You sit around your fucking dinner table, you fat cow, and talk about Chantel? Does Chantel ever leave your fucking life? I thought it was just like, okay, I react to Chantel. I watch Chantel. After, after the stream is done, everything done, I go on about my life. No, not FFG. FFG sits around the dinner table. Talk to daddy. Daddy, what do you think? about this new beauty beauty arc mom how about you i'll tell you after you finish that whole chicken ffg this woman is her life chantel is ffg's fucking life she lives Chant she lives breathes chantel I have never seen this kind of desperation, ever. <laughs> God. Shoot her so much. <laughs> Your dad wants to shoot her? Wait a minute, go back. I can't believe you just said that. Your dad wants to shoot her? Go ahead. Like, Chantal would take that name, and I, I don't know, I laughed so hard at the way he said it. It just, it would suit her so oh, suit much. Her. <laughs> like, <laughs> she okay. looks like uh, Fatima. I don't know. It's Fatima. got fat in it. It just suits that what hijab. Do, what do you look like? Jesus fucking Christ, FFG. You're fat as fuck. <laughs> Does your dad just stop and say, wait a minute. I'm here talking about a fat woman when my daughter is fat as fuck. You're 900 pounds, FFG. You're not no goddamn skinny woman. How do you and your dad laugh about a, a fat woman when you're fat? <laughs> That would be awkward. Can you imagine me with my daughter? My daughter's 900 pounds and we're sitting and having coffee. We're eating and we're laughing about another fat person. I would be uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at that fat whale over there. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I mean, uh, I don't want to fat shame. No, dad, that's okay. She is fat. 
But you're 900 pounds though. <laughs> but you're you're huge. You know you know you're big, right? <laughs> Do you know you're big? <laughs> Is there any mirrors? <laughs> I, I really get confused. No, seriously, I do get confused. Because I honestly think that FFG doesn't know she's fat. <laughs> she goes around just fat, just fat shaming, but she's fat as hell. You have nine chins, woman. There's a reason why you don't have a face cam. But you and your dad sat around laughing about another fat woman and said she's a what in Arabic? She's fat or something? She's weird. I don't know. It's perfect for her. What's perfect for you? Yes. The weekend here is Friday, Saturday. That's good, Jamie. They shouldn't. I don't think there's anyone who isn't diabetic until the shortage. No, it should be forever. <laughs> Okay, like I, I know she no, chose Jamie. medium, but can we consensus right now as a group? We're gonna call her Fatma. Fatma? <laughs> it's the name that we chose, and I think we chose better than she did. Um, so that's that's what it's gonna be for me. It'll be her little nickname. How's that? Mm. Damn. Mm. As long as them super chats coming in, huh? I'm right, <laughs> FFG. As long as they come in. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I don't even want to think about it. It makes me sick to my stomach. You know, I'm gonna have those butterflies. Like before traveling, I always get those butterflies. At least in the airports. That's a long trip. I can't even lie. That's a long ass fucking trip. That's a long flight. I Are you gonna run after my plane? <laughs> Airport breakdown, bees. <laughs> oh, messy. Yeah, I was pre-diabetic too. When I was put on it, I think. Three children just outside those hallways waiting for us to adopt them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not like screaming kids. I'm kidding. Absolutely. So I think it's going to do some live streams, eh, babe? Maybe. But he might walk here. Oh my God, that's funny. Fatma, because she's fat and she looks like Salad's ma. I love it. Perfect. Because she's fat. And she looks like Salad's ma? Why the f- I'm confused! FFD, you're fat! <laughs> Jesus! I love it! I love it, she's fat! <laughs> she's so fat! <laughs> FFG, you're fat, though. <laughs> you're huge! <laughs> you're a building! <laughs> you're fatter than Chantel, like, not even- It's no cap. You're bigger than her. <laughs> I've seen y'all side by side. I've seen it a couple of times. Put up her side by side. God damn it. Like, like you got some size on her though, uh, FFG. You got some size on her. Like you a big, you a bigger woman. You taller and you bigger. There's no way, F and you're bigger than you are now, FFG. Now listen, Chantel's chins go right here. She got a little neck coverage, just a little neck coverage. You have zero neck. You have no neck, FFG. There's no like, there's no like, like little crease. She at least has a little crease right there. You don't have that. You're just all, you're, you're just all per, you're all person all the way down. It doesn't, it, there's no creases. Does she know how she looks? When you stand next to Chantel, you're fatter than her. Well, let's make fun of Chantel. I don't get it. Go ahead. That's a lot of chins. Jesus Christ. All meat. And uh, upload it to our couple's channel or something. <laughs> KFC mm -hmm. drumstick. York Desert Highway. I know. When do I any, do anything I'm going to say I'm going to do? But their head and neck are the same? <clears throat> uh, you haven't seen FFG lately, though. This I think that woman, I think that woman's oh, 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 big. Oh, 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 oh. 
Not I saw her Instagram that. with that COVID. Oh my god, this is so much eating. You know, you know what the thing with all this eating is? Okay, you know that they are not like ee 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 after all of this food. You wouldn't be eating this much if you were about to go and like, you know, enjoy your last few nights wink with your new husband before you left. You know, there's no effing way that she would be eating this much. No, no. Mm -mm. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Can we all agree Miriam is the low what via my name? Absolutely. She loves it. It's cute. Miriam weighs 110 pounds and sounds all wispy. Fatma is the truth. So FFG is saying that there's no way that Feudy Beauty is eating this much and spending her last night with her man and, ha and, and they're having sex. I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> me, and this is me, I don't know about anybody out there, but at night, if me and my wife have some good sex, dude, I'm binging. The next day, I'm, I don't know something, the energy, the sweat, I don't know something, but I'm binging and she's binging too. So FFG wouldn't know this because nobody hits that, but maybe, you know, they have some good sex and, 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 and the next day, the next morning, you know, you start binging. That's what I do. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I do that. I don't know about y'all out there, but something about after sex, I just get hung. I get hungry. I do. If I, I might sleep that night, but the next day in the morning and the afternoon, boy, I fucking eat. I mean, I fucking tear food up. <laughs> so maybe Salah, so you don't, FFG wouldn't know nothing about that because nobody taps that at all. But maybe Sala took, hit that shit last night. You know, you, I mean, you can see her, her hijab is kind of crooked. You know, she's, she's a little red in the face. Motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker was getting a smash on. But FFG wouldn't know nothing about that because nobody sleeps with FFG. Nobody, <laughs> absolutely not. There's too many chins. Hi, Dirk, he said, please stop. <laughs> mm. What? Hello, brown gravy or chicken gravy, Nicholson. Yeah, absolutely. Big women need love too, motherfuckers. <laughs> God damn. Y'all act like a big woman can't get no love. Shit. I'm trying to say skinny women are the only one that can have sex. Fuck all that. <laughs> I watch it. Gaming live stream, nice. I'll be your moderator. Oh yeah, that's a that's a plate of food right there. That's a lot of rice. That is a that is a that is a family sized rice pack though. That is a they 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 did make that they did make that for a family though. They they thought they was gonna be for like, like six seven people. That's six seven people of rice right there. I ain't gonna lie. That's a platter. <laughs> that's called a platter, Beauty Beauty. You might want to just chill on that. You didn't need to get the whole platter. Just be like, yo, give me a cup of rice. You know, if it's just for you. That's not an individual. That's not an individual rice platter. Come on. Are you gonna let Salah say goodbye to us? That's oh, a platter. Oh yeah, baby. You're gonna say bye, right? <clears throat> no, I haven't made help him make the virus and make. He knows how to make. <laughs> that nigga Salah sitting on the side, like, damn, am I gonna get some or is it? I'm hungry too. <laughs> exactly, Chow Mein. Exactly. Into different countries, yeah. We can Mario bees. Hey, pickle soup. I wanna make that pickle soup. Platter. Someone remind me when I get home. That so is a, that is a that is for like a, a, a cool three four do, people. I ain't gonna hold you. Maybe a dinner cook live stream all the time every day. Every day. I want to be like <clears throat> sorted out and everything before I come back. Every day. Oh. You would watch. You would That's watch. That's right. Nobody wants that. <laughs> Fat Mapondu. <laughs> no. What do you mean nobody wants that? What do you what do you mean? What do you mean? FFG nobody wants that. It doesn't matter what Chantel does. You're watching. You gonna get your money. Don't worry. Nobody wants that. You gonna get your money, FFG. Oh my god. Fat Mapondu. FFG, where's your fake husband? Oh my god. I always do the opposite. What I say I'm gonna do. Okay, let me finish this and then I'll be able to talk more. FFG ain't got a husband. <laughs> Pickle soup, I'm eating <clears throat> Iranian kebab with rice. 
He reaches, man. Her chat be reaching too. Mm. Her chat be just reaching. God. <laughs> she, she eating out a party tray. Facts. She definitely eating out of that party tray, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was supposed to be for a family of six, at least. Kebab and rice, yummy. <clears throat> you can still come live on the couple's channel. You can moderate. Yeah. She too, she too. Yeah, she. Well, who come on live streams? <laughs> oh, that's what she's going to start doing? What kind of content they can do on the couple's channel when one of them is on one side of the other uh, world and the other's on the other. He's going to go live and she's going to moderate. That's not couple channel activity, although I'm glad you keep him over there so that way I can easily avoid him. Julie, thank you for the super chat. Inserting herself. You see how she inserts herself? She makes you know that she lives close to Feudy Beauty. Thank God you're keeping him over there so I don't bump into him or I don't meet up with him. Why are you, why are you constantly talking about meeting up with Feudy Beauty? Why are you constantly talking about, I don't want to bump into Salah? You know you, if you, FFG, you know if you bumped into Salah in Canada, you be taking selfies up the asshole. You, you pray for that fucking day. I hope I don't bump into, please. Who are you lying to? We saw how happy you was when you went to that fucking fashion show. Now imagine if Salah, the clout demon, God, that would give you if you had a selfie with Salah and you could tell us the lies that happened when you took that picture with him. The only reason why we even got the video of you being fanned out to Feudy Beauty was because Pete's was filming and they had to take that video down because it made you look like who you really were, a fan. Because in your video, when you shot that video going to that fashion show and being at that fashion show, it didn't show none of that fan shit. She's manipulating her audience. <laughs> The TV was kijiji Handheld. Will you ban pork products? Yeah. Freya, enjoy your meal. You can say hi to me when I do my gaming live stream sometime. You're so cute, by the way. I don't want to out you, but whenever you play your games, I don't know where you just, I love you, Chantel. <laughs> You're the cutest. I never say that when I'm playing games. I don't know what the fuck they doing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of games he playing. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> be playing some zombie games and shit, killing zombies. Love you, Chantel. <laughs> oh hell no! I don't, I don't, what? I'll be in the zone. I head back to BB. I don't want to out you <laughs> for saying you love me. That's outing your husband. Okay. Hey, Ati. You stop for that. I, <laughs> I never knew there was. Love like Yo, did you guys see in our vlog when we had to wear the life jackets? I was so scared that I would have to, like, it wouldn't fit me. I hate worrying about things like this, but yeah. Oh, that's why you were asking if we were going to watch that video. That's where the life jacket thing comes from. Ah, uh, <laughs> I saw a picture on Kiwi Farms of her in a life jacket, and I thought they had, you know, when they do like um, a Photoshop picture on Kiwi Farms, I thought it was a joke. Oh my God, that's why y'all want to watch. <laughs> oh my God, that's real. And that's, a oh fuck, we're watching that video after this. <laughs> the yacht, the yacht seat. She's laughing at a fat woman in a life jacket. But how do you look in a life jacket, FFG? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is fat shaming. <laughs> this is a fat on fat crime. <laughs> Oh, did you see her in a life jacket? Oh my God, we gotta see that. <laughs> we gotta see her fat ass in a life jacket. But you're fat though. <laughs> I don't get it. I'm confused. It was small, like an airplane. And I fit in it, so I, I don't need an extender, but. Cooking streams are great. Thanks. The top seller. 
So now that you're halal, you won't eat bacon anymore, et cetera. Miss Abella, thank you for the super chat, Miss Abella. No, I will not eat any pork products. Hit the space bar again, right. FFG. There's a, of, there's a list of things that are- Your last comment. I swear to God, I didn't know that that was a real picture. I thought it was a joke. It looks like a joke. I'm dying. Allison, thank you for the super chat, girl. I don't know, man. <laughs> People watch that shit. But like I said, I was right. I'm just happy I'm right. Because I I was saying this shit about FFG, but I was just saying it. My my um I was giving my take on what I was seeing that was coming from this woman, you know. But to get confirmation from a big dog like Yaba, and everything I was saying was actually spot on, and she was saying the same shit. I think in 2020 or 2021, she was feeling the same way I was feeling about FFG, and I never even knew that. And then seeing that. Uh, Yaba video. Now it's now it's game time. Now I knew I was on to something. I knew I was on to something. I knew I was on to something with FFG. I knew I was. Now it's game time, baby. Now it's game time. We gonna have some songs. We gonna we gonna do some shit. We gonna do some shit. We gonna have some songs. We gonna have some videos out. It's gonna be it's gonna be cracking, man. Thank everybody for being members to my uh, channel. Thank everybody that uh, watches my channel, um, support my channel, everything that you guys do. We we got some fucking fire ass content coming out. Um, the uh, uh, hussy video is on members only. Go check that video out. I got another song that I'm doing, a DC song that I'm doing that's fucking funny with using the Justin Timberlake uh, uh, song and flipping it. It's pretty funny. But um, yeah, we got some content coming, and then we're back tomorrow. We're back tomorrow. You know what we're doing tomorrow. I've been setting this goddamn thing up because I'm so excited to watch this guy, this, this thing with you. We got Natter bringing another woman to the house. And Didi wasn't there. Tomorrow night, you need to be here because I'm pissed off and I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm a little happy, but I'm a little angry. I'm happy because there's a possibility Didi might leave Natter and come on home. But I'm upset that that man, that man brought another woman into that motherfucking house when Didi was at work. Didi was out there working her ass off. And this motherfucker cooked the whole meal for another woman. Be here tomorrow night. Be here tomorrow night. We ain't letting nothing slide off. It's going to be an epic stream tomorrow night. We going to fuck off. It's going to be Natter and that woman, other woman. We going to fuck off. Because I'm pissed. Because when I saw that, Didi don't work. Man, Didi work every morning. What are you talking about? That woman work every goddamn morning. She gone. When Natter's at home streaming, she at work. Who the fuck, where do you think he get all them groceries for, from? That man don't do shit. She got fired? Oh, shit. She getting, she getting unemployment. Something. We gonna go off. Because I was pissed watching that yesterday. I was pissed off. But we gonna, but, but, but I wasn't gonna do it today. Because I, be, because I don't want to be sober and watch it with y'all. You know, I, I want to get some drinks tomorrow, Friday night. I want to get some drinks, some alcohol, you know, get my, get it ready. And then, you know, talk about it because it upset me. It really did. I felt a certain way about it, you know, but I didn't want to just splash it today. I wanted to drink a little bit, you know what I mean? Because you might see some tears come down my eyes. It was very, very upsetting. But anyway, it's your boy, your mama back at it again. Thank you guys for joining the stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you uh, get those notifi notification uh, buttons cracking. It'll probably be around, it'll be six, it will be 7 p.m. Pacific time. So whatever time that is for you, but 7 p.m. Pacific time, it's going to be Natter, DD all day, we're, we're all night, all day and all night. So just prepare for that. So it's your boy, your mama back at it again. I'll see you guys next stream. Peace.